please consolidate your menu. You have too much stuff on there. Not all of it's good. There's no reason for it to be that big. Please. We can't keep doing this. Alright, anyway, back to our scheduled, regularly scheduled programming. That one. It's again part of a collection. Not part of a collection. No okay. Fuck. I gotta do a fish face and that's my hold up. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, cool. Ow. That's a lot to hold. Whatever, and those would also stay the insane the entire time. So you'd have those, but then what else you'd have is that every day between those... Holy shit. Oh my god, we fucking got it. Uh, oh, my drops just went. You happy now? You happy? I mean, my... Oh no. No fucking shot. Oh my god. Yeah, it seems safe. I was very. Just give a, give a good ooh-woo. Elmo says ooh-woo. That was pretty good. Thank you. I try my best. Just you running in to try to help because you're like, I got marble armor. I got this shit. And just every frog, like every single frog on the fucking server just licking your shit. Bitch took my fishing pole. <laughs> <laughs> every frog on the server. Holy shit. Holy, holy, holy shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're only getting one because we already have Chase, and uh, apparently on our lease, I didn't read it, I didn't see it, but apparently on our lease, there is a stipulation that we are only allowed two pets. Mm. Oh that my god, please, please, pain. it's so hard. You want to get two because they get bored easily. <laughs> I should know. No, mm -mm. that's cool. No, I'm done. I'm done. That explosion ruptures across the hallway. And you just feel this blast of heat, like, wreck across you guys as you kind of, ex like, cover your heads. Like, you and Sinbad just are almost recoiling, or, or Ravana. You kind of feel the heat even mixing with your wind and shoving different directions as this, like, tight space suffers this explosion. He takes all so much of that damage. <laughs> and when the smoke clears and the dust settles... You see him looking with his arm up and just kind of pushes back. Impressive. Oh. He looks still almost unfazed. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm not in a pipe i just wanted to play a fun game i think this game looks really fun i thought it'd be enjoyable i'm gonna enjoy this game just because i'm also doing vtubing now just because when i did have live stuff my fiance put makeup on me just because i'm getting a bunch of like <laughs> stop it no mother down in the jail on my knee I want to cry. Like uses is way too much. Wait. <laughs> Let me not be, you know, staring down people. Tied the leader. Double kill. 
Ah. I Frank hope. Play Hollow Knight for charity stream. Bro, okay, here's. Give us a sign. Give me a sign. Talk to me about my. Oh, that was muted. It goes down. Let's see if it works. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh no. Just this NFL theme. I just love that one so much. It's you just like, yes! When you roll natural one. Wow. <laughs> okay. Alright, so now that we have created stop that one i hate that one so <laughs> i'm so happy i love you all i'm so happy i have y'all soundboard muted yeah i hate that <laughs> one so much. i'm about to mute them all all right now that we have this that one is very fun i just every once in a while i'm just gonna throw that one out just whenever i see like a natural 20 or something or i just yeah i see okay. a natural one and i'm just gonna <laughs> i want the the discord one <laughs> just <laughs> oh no 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 no! Did no. the window? We gotta get the window shut down. Oh yeah! I thought you were yeah. gonna play the world's smallest violin. Just oh okay. Here it is. There's Here it is. so much stuff on this. All right. <clears throat> oh, let's get some music going. Yeah, music. Roll twenty. I I want to figure out eventually music on this, but I have not been able to. So well, music on roll twenty is weird. I love you. Come on, dude. Cut. As we last left off, the party wandering through the twisted and ruined way. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> yeah, so as they're navigating the Whisper Veil Woods, <laughs> uh, Ravana, their curse, uh, increased in its severity uh, as. They yielded themselves more and more to the control of whatever possessed their body. And you all ventured through the center of these woods. And in the center, you found what looked like just a carnival. Off to the side, you saw what looked like pits of black tar in which creatures roiled and rumbled in. Then you saw a massive carnival tent in the center where a theater almost of blood and execution was shown as a floating creature with a crown uh, wielded on its head ordered the execution of a, uh, a let's say, 
inf inferior, I would say, from its perspective, uh, creature than one such as itself. And as that a lifeless body was dragged away, um, you guys saw it was then tossed into those pits where it was roiled and toiled and prospectively something would happen to it. So noticed. Ooh. Oh. Hello. How are you? You have made it. You have joined. So, as you guys have... Uh, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> that's fair. But, wait, 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 wait. This is probably a little bit more. <laughs> oh, if you press it twice, it overlaps. I hate that. Oops. I'm going to mute my soundboard. I think I'll must this right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's too much power for any one man to hold. I'm just going to turn the soundboard volume all the way down at this rate. Now I'm going to point it, pull it like to two. Just in case. Yeah. Two. Okay. So, <clears throat> you guys, now in the center of the Whispervale Woods, look toward uh, the center of kind of these tents as, as this activity is gone. Ravana sitting in the crowd, following the dark urges that are pushing her towards, speaking, speaking to a very odd-looking jester-like individual in the midst. <clears throat> as Ravana moves over, uh, she hears uh, th this calling to call out to this uh, jester known as Drexian. And to that, Drexian uh, seems to recognize whatever the spirit inside Ravana is as the master. And with that, takes Ravana by the hand they dimension door away. And with that, party, you all are in the midst of this kind of festival, is what I would say. Uh, beyond, beyond what you guys had interacted with last time, I think you guys were gathering together to try to figure out what how to find the location of this creature, the one with the crown, and where he's maybe holding the, uh, the cornucopia of the uh, Faithful of Uthiel and the actual blood chalice itself. You traced that kind of mist, and it went down into a fissure where you see smoke and ash rising from. And there, you believe, as best as you can tell, lies your best clue and hint. But you have an entire area. Oh! And I forgot to mention, the entire area is swarming with attritions, black beasts of all so shapes and sizes, such as, you, know, you see, let's see, blah, 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 monsters, you see uh, end walkers, you see black hounds all around, you see a few void worms, and the sky invisible are attritions floating around. It's, it's not a good time. You guys are all gathered together outside, I believe. And with that, that's where we're at, party. As you also wake up uh, Bismuth from a stupor as he has been walking in a trance is what it seems like for a few days. <laughs> what do you guys do? First things first, uh, I'm probably going to be like, because um, I believe the last thing we saw also was like me and... Isaac were talking and we noticed that there was a weird blue cloud that went into that cr crevasse. Crevasse. Crevizio. Um, so I'm gonna be um uh... but before we get there, I was like, okay, that's weird. Um before we get to that though, where's Ravana? I told you I left her inside the tent. She seemed really uh Impressed by what we saw there. Okay. And when I tried to drag her out, she threatened to harm me. Oh, it just gets better and better every time. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get her out. And then we'll kind of deal with whatever that thing was that disappeared over there. And also, 
stupid thoughts are going through my head because I'm really curious about something, but I don't know if it's a good idea. I might ask, I might seek Arnox. a little bit of assistance. Arnox. Yes. No, no stupid ideas. We get in, You're we right, there's no such well, thing as a stupid idea. I'm so happy you agree. <laughs> there, there is definitely a thing as a stupid idea. There are no stupid questions, but there are stupid ideas. Um, but I'm going to go towards that tent, I guess, because that's the only place I also did not enter. Uh, was that tent? And I'm gonna be like, "Where's Ravana? We gotta figure out what's going on." Okay, so you start to stride over there. Who's following? Um, I'll go back with him. Okay. Anyone else? Or are you guys just kind of staying near the crevasse, doing different things? But I'm rather gonna go along with them too. Okay. H have we found where um the chalice is yet? No. Uh, no. So Parnox talked to one of the oldest, um, who I forget their name right now, but it's in chat and it's also in the notes. Um, I think I have it in my thing also. Hold up me one sec. Uh, but it's like they were talking. It's like, oh, nobody knows where that is. It's because like it's not on display at all. The only person who knows where the relics are is um, the big man, the one with the crown on, who is also easily so terrifying and I don't want to fight <laughs> I want to find Big Man. He is coming for you. Do I have a yeah, I'm gonna look for Big Man. And we gotta. That's the last time we saw. Uh, they saw him. Isaac would know. So would be in that tent. You by Big Man, you mean the crowned creature? Yeah. Cut. So the last you guys, as you start to look around, the last you had seen any evidence of was that this mist had trailed to the crevasse. Beyond that, as you kind of look around. You don't really see any sign or indication of him inside the camp currently. Oh. And there's just the one tent, or are there like buildings or anything? Uh, there are other smaller tents, like satellite tents, around. They're more like actual like camp tents that seem to house specifically the. Uh, we haven't really investigated much. What's wrong with the the people? But maybe the uh, the best word for it is that the entranced or maybe the whatever's these humans like, basically mm -hmm. they're all essentially yeah the, man, it, it, you haven't really looked into it much so it's it's hard to really put your finger exactly something's not right but you don't know what yeah maybe they are just convinced like maybe they're called out like maybe there's specific people who called out or they there's a message that resonates with them you know? uh yeah I'll just stay with the group then. Yeah, so I'm gonna go inside just to be like, all right, cool. Everyone's here except Ravana. Can we, for the for the love of everything that is holy, can we get everyone together? And so I'm gonna go look, and I'm assuming I'm not gonna see deadly squat. <laughs> yeah, you go, and you actually see a lot of um, like creatures sniffing around and looking around the area. You can tell something has happened recently, and there's a lot of buzz, and uh, yeah. Do I like you can yeah. see in that in that sand pit kind of in the center, like creatures are stepping like sand, sand splash of, of like a little bit of blood that's on their foot, like from mm -hmm. maybe the gruesome showing, and mm -hmm. then they track that across the round, but they're looking for something. They're trying to figure out something that happened. Um, I'm gonna go up to. I'm assuming they're black beasts, like the like mm -hmm. Nightwalker or the like oldest child and the stuff. I'm gonna go up to one of them and just be like, "Excuse me." Uh, Brother, what is what's what's going on? What seems to be the issue? What uh, you all seem agitated. Uh, uh, uh one of our brothers, he the 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 showman himself, he disappeared. We don't know what happened with him. We saw him once for a moment, then he spoke to a lady, and the lady looked at him in his eyes, and they both just disappeared. They stepped through a crack in space and time, is what it looked like. Oh, no. Uh, Parnox really worriedly is going to start describing Ravana and be like, is this the, what the woman looked like? Uh, more or less, yes. The silver tips on the hair was starting to fringe out different colors, but yes. Great. Okay, thank you so much. Um, and I'm going to, like, turn around Perhaps and... Perhaps to get milk. Huh? Perhaps they stepped out to get milk or some tobacco. 
I hope so. Um, but I, I don't, like as I'm walking through, I'm just kind of like just too frustrated, and I'm gonna wait till we get outside. I was just like, if I see Ravana, hmm, I don't know what happened in the Ash Peak Mountains, but now they're gone. Um, I'm not dealing with this right now because, from what I understand, that was like that seems to have been some type of teleportation or something along that lines. I have no way of locating them in any way, shape, or form. So, I would rather not deal with that right now. Um, then, uh, what should we do? Should we try to find... I think... Uh, thing that we need to get? Talk says looking around at all of the <laughs> black beasts around them. Yeah. Um. So he's like, yes, but before that, I have to make one quick little... See if I can get a quick little chat in. Um. Do I, uh, Would I need to be like somewhere quiet? You said to uh, try to, try mm -hmm. to reach out you to my patron? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you'd, I'm gonna, you'd have to, You could step off to the side. Yeah. yeah. I'm basically just going to go out and be like, all right. We need to talk. I need to know if one, do you care about any of this slash know about is any of this interest to you? And also, Parnox doesn't have the brain cell of the group right now, and he needs to ask his patron a real dumb question. <laughs> okay. Uh, so start off. Uh, I want you to roll for me a charisma saving throw, please. Oh boy. Twenty two. Oh. Okay. As you start to channel out. You feel like something tries to rebuff you and prevent you, and then something you push past that, like sneakily, like like something was like. There's a general sense of of no in this area, and you're able to okay. kind of like sneak around the sight of whatever that is and get get your will passed, and then you kind of feel a thread touch out into nothingness, mm -hmm. and that nothingness answers back, like like a like a like a voice on the other end of a tin can attached with a string mm -hmm. and you just kind of echo your idea or thought and mm -hmm. it, it can hear it vaguely mm -hmm. what do you what are you saying um so i don't know anything about ravana so unfortunately i can't say any of that but i feel like he'd be interested in that um the first i'm gonna talk about basically what i've learned about the black bee so far about how like hey these are all part of like an ashen lord how they're currently being created um and everything i've learned and then i have the question um you're like i understand you probably don't care about me that much but you're more curious about me because i do stupid things a lot what do you think would happen if i entered the tar pit because they said apparently one strong as i because i apparently am considered strong in their eyes i'm assuming it happened something when i was entering and they did that little entrance ritual which also i don't know if tox or bismuth want to do or what we're gonna do with that um yeah uh but uh, i will say should i it, it, it will be assumed that they have done it because you can't get into the camp without doing it that's true yeah i just don't know if i'm the only strong one it'd be really wild if it was uh so it's more so of a Hey, does any of this information about the Black Beasts interest you? Especially considering the fact that apparently Uthiel also made the one that's currently, like, the main leader. Um, which is interesting to me. Uh, that the ashes of the Ash Peak Mountain... So, a few things. One, the main leader of the Black Beasts, the one that wears the crown, was actually the first one created by the Tear of Uthiel. The Ash oh, and yeah, the Ash the Peak Tier Mountain. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. the Ash and the Ash I Peak like, Mountains. I was like, I was like, huh? No, no, yeah. <laughs> Remember, a tear of Uthiel fell on the Ash of the Ash Peak Mountains, which actually held yeah, a fragment so, of the Ashen Lord, and they molded into yes, this first that, black that, that makes That makes more sense. When when you say that, that makes... I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah that, that's, yeah. that's right. Like, that tracks... When, that's you said, when, you, when you said Uthiel did it, I was like, <laughs> no. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, oh, the tear, the tear did it. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 Okay. That, um, that, again, just how the Black Beasts seem to use anything living or dead, throw it into like the seemingly tar pit mixed with the ash of the ash peaks uh, from underneath to create more black beasts. Um, because basically, and it's basically the more remnants or shards almost of the Ashen Lord that are used, the stronger the black beast, as well as the will of the person. 
I want to know if he cares about any of this, if he can help me out in any way, shape, or form. And again, hey, I'm really thinking about potentially going in that tar pit, seeing what happens, because yo, I'm a curious little dude. Oh, am I hey. gonna perish? Um, let's see. So, you... Hmm. I was like, because they mentioned specifically that I was strong. And the, be tier, like the tier is interesting. Okay. So, um... You get this sensation, and this voice kind of rings back a little bit and says, Will you give to me the secret of the tear and these black beasts? Yes. So be it. Um, kind of, a, your head kind of hurts for a moment, and it pulses, and then it, now you cannot remember or recall... <gasps> Like the oh. knowledge at all of of the idea that the oh, tear kind of it's and, like and, that oh and, and what's interesting too is this is is if someone else tries to rationalize to it it to you as similar to like modify memory you will fill in the blanks with it to make sense of it but but you will not be able to comprehend the, the concept okay good to know uh with that being said you think, uh, and then uh, the question again: um, Does he care about the so second one? <laughs> once, once you, once you have finished that, um, you get a kind of like a flash of an image in your eye of a thousand-faced monster roiling in mud and ash in dark caverns, breathing out oh. from all thousand screaming faces, like like puffs of flame and smoke and chokes of, of crying and, and, and agony mm -hmm. and laughter and all sorts of things. And it just kind of sits there and it roils and all these faces kind of shift like, like a giant slime with thousands of faces just kind of moving around its surface. Uh, okay. And, and it's sitting there and it's roiling and you just see like this kind of heart of pulsing fire just birth breathes from it. And oh, then from that's... that, you see this, this ash kind of rises up and then you just see, just off the distance, like like a pinprick of light in which that ash escapes from. And this creature roils down in this imprisonment underground. Can't, can't never able to escape. You're confident of that. Okay. And you hear just a voice kind of call out, like it burns itself in your mind. And it just says, Shoal. And uh, I will s put that in the ch chat for you. Voice says, Shoal? What does this Shoal. mean? Dr. Scholl. Oh. And then that kind of recoils you back. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, do I feel confident that that thing was from my patron? Was from the Vendig? Um, the 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 message or whatever that was. It basically you get the sense it was this is a secret for a secret. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I don't know. Uh, I love the secret secret thing, but I'm also kind of upset because I was like, am I going to get you, it also, you, you, you get this idea. The patron doesn't take from you. He is very... It's a, tr very it's a trade. He, he, yeah. he, will, he, he is a Vendig, so he will only accept the trade. Yeah. Oh, man. He only accepts the deal. Um... Do I get the sense of before? I guess I, I don't know if uh, I I get the sense if I went through the process of whatever the the black beasts go through to become one, would that process be of interest to him? Uh, you don't seem it doesn't seem to provoke anything in him. Doesn't okay. seem curious at all. Hmm. I really want to know what happened if I go in that tar pit though, but I don't. I'm so scared. <laughs> I would like to be able to go back into Boulder. Um. All right, I'm gonna leave that. You turn to a black face, Parnox, or not Parnox, Tox might kill you as well. It's true. Well, the th that's the thing is, I don't understand. Like, it's like I would become sentient from my understand is from the understanding because the strong are like you are become a sh like the stronger you are, you become a stronger black beast is what I was told by like the oldest child. But I don't understand if I just become a black beast or if it would like alter me because also like we're not just like normal things that they throw in the pit. My man. My man's trying to become a, uh, what are those in Bleach? The, what hollows. The mass? hollows. Nah, not a hollow. It's Visor. Oh, yeah. 
No, if they're hollow, visors are the uh, scientific ones. The mate, the, the who's the ones with the masks though that like let their hollow take yeah, control yeah, of it. Then, yeah, visors then. Yeah. Um, a long card. That's what I was trying yeah. to think Thank of. You. Yeah. Um. All right, so I'm gonna come out though. Uh. Oh. While you were doing that. Yeah. No. Real quick. The jester, did they leave anything here? Um, oh, you know what? Why don't you roll for me? How are you going to about to try to find out where this would be? Uh, Just looking around? Or yeah, looking people? looking around the tent, asking anyone, uh, like, right. uh, did they leave any of their equipment behind when they vanished? So, roll for me a charisma uh, persuasion check first, as you're just kind of persuasion. going around talking to people. See if you can get some information. Solid 17. Persuasion. Solid 17 is very good. And 15 would be the DC to be able to kind of pry open some information. You are able to narrow down the tent where he stayed in. Um, and you kind of get in there and roll an investigation check for me. 15. Okay, 15 is also the DC for you to be able to locate this now that you have been able to locate the tent and lower the DC for you quite a bit. A bit. As you kind of go in there, you start digging around and looking. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing weird. Until you see a small mound of dirt that you can tell has been kind of freshly moved. Okay. I'm so frightened. <laughs> at this point in time, if anyone goes up to you, you would just be like, I'm also trying to help. Like Again, at this point in time, we're in here. They consider us a, basically adopted family. We are brothers of the Black Beast. Hello, friend. I'm just looking for things. Ignore Wait, me. Hello there. Is he able to talk to them? He hasn't got marked. No, he, we have to assume so, if he's in the camp, okay. they have to be We are assuming. Okay. Was there like a save or something I needed to make? Yeah, yeah. So it would have been a constitution saving throw, and it would have probably been DC 15, probably. 14. Sad. So you, would have, you, would have, you would have suffered in, in a lot of agony, effectively. But yeah. you, yeah, um, but as you wouldn't have taken But then at the end of it, it would have subsided. Yeah. yeah. You don't take any damage. It's just... There's a category. You think in your ability to withstand that pain, there's a categorical distinction they put you in Bis, between myth, someone roll. who's just like Bis, a brother myth, or a friend. Roll. Yeah, uh, actually, yeah, that, that's an excellent idea. Uh, please, if you could roll for Bismuth, get it, Oscar. Go crazy. Which one am I rolling for? Uh, Constitution saving throw. Trying with to stand visceral agony. I can edit this. I don't want the hundred. I, I hate hundreds. It just puts me on my face. I just wanted to see what they look like. Hey, that's a twenty-two, baby. Wait, 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 wait. I just wanted to do it. Hey, it's quiet, but hey, it works. <laughs> my <Nice>. eardrums. <laughs> Is it that loud? Stick. I brought mine down so much. Okay, awesome. Uh, with that, uh, Bismuth, you feel kind of this agony and it washes over you after a little bit and you feel a warm sensation. Uh, you've come to accept this mark. Uh, so, Frank, you are not the only, as they would say, powerful. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Powerful ones. If I were thinking five seconds ago, I could have had a very convenient way to have dealt with this, but you know what? We're just going to go with what we have. Oh, okay. We have two Uthilites. We could have made that work for sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> In hey, a brother. hey, yo, brother, yeah. what's up? Um, okay. okay, so mm, where were we just at? Okay, so oh, we were in the tent. So as we're in the yes. tent, you see a freshly disturbed patch of kind of dirt that looks to you with kind of your thief's knack, a, a little bit of like a tell someone hid something here. And they were trying to make it look normal, like someone maybe kicked some dirt up or something like that. But you can tell something was is it hidden there. Like buried? Mm-hmm. Uh, is there like a shovel or spade in this tent? No. But uh, as you kind of get closer to that zone, you can see it was dug, the carrot covered up probably with hands. You can see like the finger marks oh, okay. in the dirt now that you're looking at it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, cold dagger specifically to kind of like 
like, go over the area and, like, very carefully, like, dig this up, just in case they trapped it somehow. Well, just roll for me a sleight of hand check, just to represent your carefulness. 20. Right. You are able to very, very gently dig around until you feel like the dirt is moving very softly. And you start to kind of clear out that zone, and you see the top of what looks like a small lockbox. About so big. I'm going to... Okay, so you kind of pull it out, brush off some of the dirt, set it down, and you pull out some uh, lockpicks, and you start to kind of t- t- and go at it. Uh, roll for me a Thieves Tools check. 16. Okay, 16. I like that. Okay. With a 16, as you kind of... T- 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 you hear something, and you finish turning. The lock, kind of this old padlock, kind of falls off, and you're able to kind of open the chest very carefully and looking inside, you see some odd things. First of all, you see what looks like a... Um, it's very, very weird, but as soon as you look at it, uh, something about it is really uh, pretty and ominous about it at the same time. It, it, it actually... You guys have seen a tear of the right? Yes. Yeah. So it has something... like that about it a gem kind of with magic within it but it's like a it's like a splinter almost uh, almost translucent with a darkness to it like a shard of of glass almost but it definitely has some energy and life to it something about that and it rests in there the next thing you see is what looks like a giant like toy soldier like like you would wind up a soldier like a like a wooden soldier or something like that the gold little wind-up that key, it's like a very big version of that. And it's just kind of like sitting in there, but you know, so yay big, just kind of sits in there. And then you see what looks like a uh, cloth, like a like some form of like really, really fine, like linen cloth covering something. You're not exactly sure what exactly it's covering. Okay. Everything else looks like, so it, it looks like this, like you, you have this kind of really fine linen cloth in the center covering something, it's an odd shape. Then you have like these two keys, and like a key, and, and then it's like gem, kind of set off to the side. Okay. Uh, I'm going to close it. Cut. Uh, put it in my pack. Yep. Did they leave an instrument here? No. Aw, sad. I apologize, they did not. Uh, okay. 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 Um. Other weird things you see in here, there's a lot of, like, there's some woodcarver's tools. You see what looks like um, some crumpled up pieces of paper. When you go and look at it, there's some, like, limericks on it, effectively. Nothing, um... It's just weird, but nothing amazing. No um, other amazing finds. That's probably the best thing you could find there is this small buried chest. I am going to recover the ground there. Like, cover mm-hmm. my tracks from my burying. Getting this thing Well, for me, uh, a- another sleight of hand check just to see how well you are able to make this look good. We were able to just nice. That's crazy, <laughs> yo. <clears throat> and with that, uh, what do you do? And I get out of there. <laughs> yep, you walk out, brush, brush. Kind of this, this pack slightly heavier with this, you know, wooden chest. Kind of have it tucked away in a nice little good roll-up zone where you have your sleeping bag, kind of. And you wander off. All right, uh, going back over towards the tent. So we have uh, Justin and Bismuth. So, so we have Isaac and Bismuth in the tent. You see a lot of commotion going on. What else do you guys do in that zone? Or do you guys leave from there? Um, I think I'll just be direct and ask, uh, are there other people, are the, uh, the Black Beast still sniffing around? Yep. <laughs> um. I'll just be direct and ask them uh, where the uh, one with the crown went. I'm going to follow Isaac's uh, lead. 
Um, roll for me. Roll for me a performance check. No, you know, you're asking very directly. How are you asking this? Is this like a very like in command or like curious or like what does this sound like? Like like hey, where do you go? Or like hey, I'm just curious where we went. Like what is the mode that you're doing this? Or are you trying to be like hello, my brother? Where you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I need a little bit more information to, to determine um, type of role. So could we each add a separate person, and I'd be more you of can. a uh, yep. direct kind of tone, like intimidating, like hey, where do you go? Yeah, more like that. Okay. I'll just pose it as a simple question, you know, see if, if they uh, answer or if they would be suspicious of me for asking it. Okay. Yeah, uh, I would say that would just be a general persuasion check then. And then, um, Bismuth, roll an intimidation check. With advantage, actually. That advantage mattered. The bad that check did. on that could have been really Whoa. ugly. Okay. So, uh, Justin, you're not able to really pry information one way or the other out of them. It seems like the, the general answer is he's retired for the day. He's retired for the night. He, he's gone to rest. And then Bismuth, at first when you talk to this person, they kind of turn around at you. The, so it's just a black hound. He turns and looks at you and hisses and says, Human, you step out of your place. And then it kind of looks at you for a moment, and it kind of squares you up and down, and then it looks really at your forehead for a moment, where you kind of got marked. Oh, it, it, it was just no. really like a magical mark. And okay. then it stops, and then it bows its head low and says, I'm sorry, he is retired for the night. And it kind of turns and, and like shrinks away from you. Like it's, like, like it, it like it, the sensation of, oh, it didn't know who it was talking to kind of idea. Could I follow him and get more answers? Oh, you're gonna keep pushing the issue. It's cr the creature's moving around. Wait, so what do you what do you say? It's kind of like trying to get away from you. No, I want to back into a corner where it has one on one, nowhere else to run to. So you literally like, uh, 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 and you like literally force it into the corner of one of these tents, like just, near the stand, uh, and it's uh, kind of uh, like uh, it's like this cornered creature turns and looks at you and says, "Leave me alone. I have nothing else to say to you." What what do you say to it? Remember, we're here on a spy mission, by the way. <laughs> I have nothing else to say to you. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. Say it again. I want to reassure him, let him know that I mean no harm. I just have a few questions. That might be worth this time. Uh, I am so scared. Desire I'm to ask of me. Horrified. I will answer as best as I can. But I know not much. I am a humble, lowly servant of the Cinder King. Do we do best two out of three? I think we do uh, best so two out of three. Do we, we need, go horribly exactly wrong. need to know Harnox and Isaac? Or Tox? This doesn't count, by the way. You need to know where the one with the crown went. You are also, I will say this too. Okay, you are playing one. a dangerous game, but it's a dangerous game that could also pay big. So. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. I'll just, I'll just whisper to him real quick. Like, we we don't want to set these people or set these things off. Uh, yep. We're severely off. outnumbered. From perspective, there are things here we haven't even fought yet that are considered the oldest children. Yeah, so those are the Dreadvales. Dreadvales, yeah, because they're the ones that with the hands hands all over their head. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Dreadvales are wickedly intelligent, as best you can tell. Like every time you walk by one of them, those things look like they are trying to figure out how you taste. And you get you get the sense they're pretty close to the good guess. <laughs> and I'm not talking about how humans taste, like how you specifically taste. <laughs> specifically you. Oh man. So I kind of want to use his fear against him. Let him know that there are consequences Ooh, for God. not being cooperative. Oh, and you just want to know where he is exactly, and then he's free to go. 
Oh, okay. Um, I would like for you to roll another intimidation check with advantage still. Shout out but if it goes bad, it goes bad. It goes horribly wrong. The creature kind of like it feels backed in the corner and you can see it's trying to think through what you're saying. And then it goes and it just opens its mouth and it tries to bite at you. And it rolls a natural 19 to bite you. Uh, it chomps at you dealing a whopping seven <laughs> points of piercing damage as it bites into your arm. You let out a yelp like, ah, like that. And as soon as that happens, you can see the entire kind of like circus, uh, that pit of people looking around people, they just see two humans getting bit by a black beast, and you can just see they turn around, and you could tell like there's this kind of sensation of of like whoa, what's going on? Like oh my goodness, it's oh. gonna get crazy. No, oh, don't do that. What do you guys do? What do you guys do? Uh, well, I was I was kind of ask if I could fighting style protection that, but I guess oh yeah yeah now. okay wait, wait. no no oh. fighting style protection. Oh Lord yeah. have mercy. Which was the disadvantage? Is that correct? Uh, let me see. I think protection is disadvantage, and the other one is reduced damage. If it's reduced damage, that's even cooler, because then you could just be like, stick your arm out and let it bite you. <laughs> or the like... It just bites into the obsidian. Is it... Impose disadvantage on a creature that is attacking a target other than you. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, hey. it, hits, it hits with the nineteen. It hits with the nineteen. Oh my so it does hit with the nineteen. Lord have mercy. This thing really wanted a bite. Okay. So he was cornered. He you know was very that. upset. Yeah. So uh, now at this point in time, the environment starts to really get tense. What do you guys do? This thing bites into Bismuth, and then it lets go and goes and scampers off. Uh, I'd say we should leave while the while the getting's good. Let's not draw any more attention to ourselves. So, yeah, if they'll let us. Play it off, play it cool. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. So a after a few seconds, you can see, uh, probably, uh, <clears throat> I would say, who would be. You see one of these creatures, these Endwalk creatures. By the way, just for refreshers on what they look like. I don't. Know oh boy, those. yeah, this is gonna be great. Getting to see all the black beasts yeah, again. Beast the there. nightmare fuel that they are. Yeah. Is great. It control. Control F. No. What is that? Isn't it control? It's Shift C. That's it. Shift C. Ah, uh, yeah. So you guys see that thing? Not yet. No. I don't see Diddly Squat. Okay. Why not? Are you guys not on this map? Oh, you're not on that map. That's why. Teehee. That's probably exactly why you don't see it. I'm in the dim light area. So this thing. Yeah. Did that pull it up for you? Yeah, it did. The nightmare fuel. <clears throat> yeah, it did. So it, this thing kind of starts to move over to, on these arms and looks over at you. This long kind of tongue kind of coils around and you just hear this mental message says, And what do we have here? Some interlopers? With a mark, though, brethren, what is the meaning of this? Uh, sorry, guess, he he got a little bit too carried away with uh, teasing that one back there. It won't happen again. Yeah, I pat Isaac on the back, and I say, some people are just sensitive to these jokes. Look, you can't uh, just go around calling anybody or telling anybody that they look funny, okay? <laughs> uh... I will allow either a deception or performance check from you, Isaac, with advantage because you are being helped. Deception or, or uh, performance, one or the other. I think performance is one of the skills that needs to be used way more often. I than we ever use. Yeah. Hey! Okay, DC 15, so that oh, is Oh, that's so scary. So and then it sees scampering off this black beast, this one, like, like black hound. And looks over and just... And the lesser bodies are weak-minded. <laughs> they are imbecilic. Allow it to flee. And do not taunt them. It can't tell between... And it looks over at Bismuth. One of the mightier vessels. 
from itself. Go forward. Enjoy your day. Forgive our lesser brethren. And it kind of turns and like the rest of them kind of like looking around. You see in the quarter though, one of these is still staring at you. As you see a creature that looks like this, kind of in the corner, with this just wicked evil smile on its face, just kind of looking at you. Um, I need both of you guys just real quick. Uh, hold on, let me see. Hey, look, it's a dread veil. They're not totally terrifying at all. I need both of you guys to make wisdom saving throws. Just, just real quick. Just simple wisdom saving throws. Nothing, not the end of the world. Just wisdom saving throws. Okay. All good things start with wisdom saving throws. Okay. Okay. It looks at you too with this kind of weird, wicked smile that it has. And you guys get like this itch in the back of your mind. You can't really figure out exactly. And then its smile just grows a little wider. And then it just kind of turns and then just leaves. Oh no. What just happened? What do you guys do? Do you think everyone seems to leave you alone now? Go talk to him, Isaac. He seems to know something. Uh, we can try, but I don't know if it's such a great idea. I won't be as aggressive this time, I promise. I'll follow your lead. Okay, and uh, I'll go look after him, or go follow so you start after him. following after the creature? Mm -hmm. Okay. As you start to kind of approach behind, uh, you hear mentally in your mind, it says, uh, mm, yeah, you get kind of closer. Without looking at you, it says, well, usurpers, how have you enjoyed our festivities? Oh, it knows. God. And it keeps pawing and walking away. But, like, you guys are kind of walking by. It's not stopping. It's mentally talking to you. What do you guys do? Uh, it knows! So Nothing but warm welcomes all around. I can feel your heart rate, rate increasing. You know you've been found out. Mm. But don't fret. There are many here who are curious. Who think themselves to be able to overturn the Cinder King's will? You're not so different. No. Especially a mighty soul such as this one. And it kind of breaks out of the tent into like the main area. Do you guys continue following? Yes. Okay. As just kind of walking and pacing with you, it looks at you and says, Now, what is it that you are after? Please, don't lie to me. I already know. Well, if you already know, why are you asking? Perhaps we could come As, to some sort of agreement. Well, answer my question first. What are you here for? I already know. But as I've said, I want to see who you really are. So what's Isaac, th like, thinking right now? is trying to not set this creature off in any way even though he knows it he's been found out now yeah um what's business thinking I, right about now then i'm thinking we ought to tell him the truth we don't want things to go any sour if they just went inside the tent yeah, um, there's a chalice that we came for. Simply the chalice? Well, your forthrightness shows that at least to some degree you think we can be negotiated with, conversed with. I like that. I love talking to you, fleshy. And it kind of turns around, and one of the hands on its head just kind of, like, grabs your cheek, Isaac, and just kind of pulls it a little bit, and then just kind of lets go and just kind of dangles down like a limp arm off of a cadaver. I love negotiating with you fleshy things. 
I won't speak to the elder children, nor to anyone else. But I will say this. If you want to avoid some bloodshed, you best leave before the evening. You seem uh... reasonable, unlike the rest of your kin. You don't strike on sight. You desire to speak with us. You have taken our brand. I can't believe that happened. I knew that. Do not pitch tents and fires. I think you have the potential to be wonderful brethren. But I will not force you. Well, you've been honest with me so far, so I'll return the same. We came here for something, and we've already lost a comrade. Leaving empty-handed, everything we've done up till now will be for nothing. Ah, Galactus, Tifana, you speak of the Jester leaving, yes. With that you... wretched thing who stole you know where... an entertainment way. Uh. Do you know where he took her? I have a supposition, I guess. He's... We have scoured this forest on the outskirts. He has used a spell known as Dimension Door. He can only go so far. And he has not gone any distance above ground that we wouldn't be able to sense him or find him. So we have a guess. He has gone beneath. Into the domain of our king itself. <laughs> well, now we are here. You know this person. We seek our jester. He is sullying the domain of our lord. And we dare not go where unwashen foot have trod lest we provoke his wrath or the wrath of his children below. So, how is this? You want the chalice? You may speak to our lord. But the crowned fragment rests underground. If you go underground, I would love for our interest to meet. Find your Ravana creature. Oh yes, I know the name now. When I saw you think of the name at the forefront of your mind, it came to me. Find that thing and that jester creature. And if you bring them back here, I'll bring back the chalice, or brave the underground and see if you can speak to our lord, or be feed for the Cinder King himself, before his grand feast and awakening. And if we take part in this quest, will you supply us with what we need for the journey? <laughs> I've supplied you with wonders beyond your imagination, for now you have talked to the first black beast that could be reasoned with. And the reason is, is because it just so happens. I don't have a Dalit's mind. I am one of the eldest sons of the Fragment. Please, show some respect. I will keep this a secret, and that is my gift to you. My preparation. Have fun. The underground. Quite warm. Very dusty. And your dead body will blend in nicely. <laughs> and how exactly do we Either reach rude. this underground you speak of? Well, you already know where the fissure is. I see it within the forefront of your mind. Have fun. And it just kind of turns and just starts walking towards the black oozing pits. You guys continue following. Uh, I think we should regroup with the others, Isaac, and let them know what we found out. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the information. It was very helpful. It doesn't say anything back. Just turns and you just see this Cheshire cat smile on this twisted. I hate thing. it so much. It just turns and I hate it walks so much. It's way all the way back. It steps into this mud pit, this tar pit, and just keeps walking and just descends into it. There's the, the everything else just ends with this one plop of tar bubble. And that's the last communication you have with that thing. 
Hunter and Isaac. Eh. Could have gone a whole lot worse. Why did Ravana get taken? Did she, was she kidnapped? Perhaps she went willingly. She may know something that we don't as of yet. But why? Like, what here caught her interest so much that she would abandon the mission? The only way to find out is to go after her and ask her for ourselves. Well, at least we have an idea of where she may have gone before us. A whole lot of good that's going to do us. Oh, dude, this is so bad. Because, like... An idea and a date with death himself. But, nevertheless... I have to try. I'm so curious. And plan on our next steps. Okay. Is that just four boxes of pizza? Because that would be hilarious. I want all four of those. I just saw... Oh, my goodness. No, it's about 10,000 magic cards. Honestly, oh. even better. Yeah. Okay. With that, I'm going to say you guys regroup around the fissure zone after a little bit of time. Um, uh, did y'all have anything fun happen? We met one of the eldest sons. Um, and he told us where an idea of where Ravana may have gone. Where would that have been? A forest. It's somewhere nearby. So that's why I want to make sure. Did they say forest or underground? Because no, no, they no, said no, the no. king's underground. Well. Yeah. Underground. So, so we have to go underground basically, either way. Basically, they were saying, they're basically saying around the ring of the forest, they're like, okay, well, we checked the forest. They're not there. So if they're not there, the only place they could have went is down. So they're in uh, the realm of the Cinder King underground. So we're That's going how down they got either away. way. Um, After a little bit of time goes by, you see off in the distance a weird procession. As you look and you see uh, two black beasts with like chains like in their mouth walking. As you see a uh, dread veil in the center of them. A and it's kind of marching with this grin while these two black beasts are dragging chains. And you see it looks like they're trailing like... Like a ball of tar is what it looks like almost. Just trailing as it's walking towards you all. The Dread Veil kind of walks over and looks at... Uh, specifically, it looks at um, Isaac and then it looks at Bismuth and just kind of puts a smile. It says, I reconsidered my offer for preparations here. And it just kind of gestures with its head, and a bunch of hands just kind of make like this come along gesture, and the other black beast kind of like wince a little bit, and they drag this like sliding pool of tar right in front of you. And then they drop the chains, and then oh. they turn around, and they walk away, and this creature looks at you and says, I suggest you work quickly. And it just turns around and leaves. Oh no. Just a pool of like dark tars just kind of like laying there. It looks gross covered in like very thick cake caked mud does you guys parnox do? know what this is considering i asked about the tar pits that are roll a medicine check oh i'm not good at that I, I, i'm not good at that you seven. don't know it it looks like about like a six foot long by three foot wide like blob Hmm. I don't know. What that I is. roll for medicine. <laughs> roll for medicine. Like me. I'm significantly better than Parnox is at that. Yeah, Bismuth is. Yeah. Hey, Bismuth, you look over there. It takes you a few seconds to kind of put two and two together. That's a body. Oh, a humanoid body. What what threw you off for a little bit was around like. Like like the back and head area, something's not right about that. But that's a body. Mm -hmm. Can I check its pulse to see if it's actually dead? So you like reach and just, like slide your hand through the slimy mud, and you touch its neck, and you feel a very very subtle pulse. Whatever this thing is, it's dying. You think it needs some healing magic to basically be brought back from the brink of death. No. 
I'll turn to the rest of the group. I say, guys, we I don't know who this is. I don't know what he is, but he needs our help. And this might be the key to getting Ravana back. Okay. That's all you had to say. And I guess I'm just going to reach both arms in and immediately just start pulling out to try to get this, get the man, get get whoever this person is out. Um, While that's happening, also, I'm going to like look between everyone's like, do you guys trust me to do something potentially very stupid? No. Well, okay. That's fair. No, I just made the wisest decisions on this trip so far. That's fair. By the way, this isn't me trying to stop you from gaming. This is just Isaac being Isaac. <laughs> Isaac being like, God, please, no. We already blew our cover because someone was too intense in their investigation. Mm-hmm. Well, look where that got us now. Bismuth, you have healing spells. So if you wanted to heal them, you could. You could just cast like cure wounds. Yeah, I, I was gonna say. I'm assuming at this time, Parnox has like pulled the pulled the body out of the tar all the way. Mm. Or mud. He is covered in it. That's oh, he's covered. He's so okay, pickled. got mm-hmm. it. Okay. So it's more like he. So it's more like tox. Uh, Bismuth would have he's to do, so like, covered healing. in it you can't identify him. Yeah, Got it. so you, he'd have to like do healing word like on him in the mud, basically. Yep. Uh, okay. Okay, so that would would that remove the tar? It would heal. It would heal him and bring him to consciousness. Mm. Yes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use healing word then. Yep. Uh, roll a d4. Add your wisdom. Brayden, what does let's, your character do? Let's go. Be- oh. That's me. Oh. So I just got re- revived. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing. Last thing you remember was you were on a cart, getting kicked out from the last wall bastion for whatever crime you had recently committed. That exiled hey, look you. at that full heal. And you were your cart was attacked by a bunch of these monstrous dark creatures. And you remember nights of being kind of mid conscious and unconscious. Do you remember the cart in its entirety was dumped? into this pool, and you got out, and you started ripping and tearing through them. And you remember one of them kind of flew, flew down after, like, the savage rampage of you taking out a bunch of them? And and this one with, like, this wicked crown looked at you, and it ended up controlling your mind through an enchantment spell, and ended up, at, like, basically putting you in a position to where you were like, okay, like, like this guy's pretty chill, and then everyone else just kind of dogpiled you, and that's the last thing you remembered, was that you were basically put unconscious after the crowned one came up and did something to you. I guess the first thing he sees is Parnox healing me. No, that'd be Bismuth healing you. Oh, Bismuth. Uh, immediately, as soon as he makes consciousness, I'm jumping almost straight into the air. Like one of those like yep. panics. Yep. Uh, 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 where am I? Um, it's another one of you guys! <laughs> I look over to Tox. No, uh, me guys. They're, they don't look anything like me. He, I was gonna say more of the fact of amnesia. Covered in mud. I was, no, I was gonna say more about the fact of amnesia of not knowing where you were when we first met you. I, I don't know you, but amnesia is when you don't know where you are. No one has defined that word for me yet. Y'all keep saying it, and no one tells me what it's it not means. It's not knowing, not knowing where you are. It's not remembering things. So, like, if I don't remember where I put my short sword in the morning, is that amnesia? No, but not remembering your name or your or like memories from when you were a child, I feel like would be considered amnesia. This not- small banter goes on while this man dripping in mud, half alive, just like, like, where am I? What's going on? Oh, oh sorry. Small L- listen, theological discourse. Yeah. <laughs> listen, questions happen all the time. Which I, I'm trying to be better about it because I, 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 I'm sometimes not answering this question. Also, we'll put a pin in that one. Yeah, put a pin on that one. Um, hi, I'm Ponox. Um, this is our group. Um, Bismuth healed you. Who are you? Um, well, I what are you? Right now, well, he's covered in mud. I'm. As you can see from the way I look, and you see brushes them off, and you see just all red skin with yellow eyes and a long white hair tucked into a ponytail with small little wings. Like, well, I'm what you call a tiefling. I'm I don't know really who I am or how I became this. 
But all I know is everybody hates me, and it, it kind of sucks. Um, yeah, that, I was like slowly looking down. I'm just like, yeah, that tracks. Not gonna lie, I, I'm hated uh, in this world, and yet we have dark beasts, like beasts. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Um, yeah, um, I hate it as well. So I don't think that's um, an apt comparison. While that's happening, I was like, well, you guys discuss that. I'm gonna be right back. Um, I. Have I flipped coins over this multiple times to see what Parks is gonna do? I'm not putting my whole body in because I want to see what happens first. You know the shoulder that I have that's calcified. Yeah. I'm dipping my arm basically up to that in that tar where the black beasts, where I know like the black beasts are formed. So you're gonna walk all the way over there, dip your arm into it. Aren't we like right over there? Aren't they like right next to the fissure? Mm -hmm. No, you guys are near the fissure. Yeah, it's it's like a, it's like a ways away, like like about like a. Like a, like a football 30, field. 40 second, yeah, f yeah, like football field walk. Yeah. I was just like, so you're yeah, gonna go over, like, be right back. <laughs> you walk over and you start to dip your arm into it. Strength saving throw, please. Strength saving throw. So, um, does your tiefling have horns? Yes. Did those hurt to get put in your head? Um, maybe when something feels like it's hard. sucking into at your arm, but you're able to, if you want to, to not be pulled in. Yeah, I'm gonna not be fully pulled in. Okay. Uh, your arm tingles. I mean, they kind of hurt when I sleep weird, but... Yeah, I imagine, like, if you sleep on your side, they may be uncomfortable. Yeah, I put in both yeah, arms. I'm a really big, good back sleeper. Do they grow back if we were to cut them off? Um, I've never tried. I've Should had... we try? Oh, I've, a bad I've... idea. The closest thing I've had has almost been beheaded. I'm going to put in both arms, but... by the way. <laughs> that's, that's all Did I'm your saying. head go back if I cut Make it, it off? Safe. Honestly, Actually, before that happens, be <laughs> I'm just going to accept it and go in. Okay. Uh, make a strict saving throw. If I have to kill Parnox, if uh, I have to kill Big P this session, okay. I'm going to be upset. I would like to... I'll do that. Also, if, if it's... A, uh, cause, so, real quick. If... If it's a fail, I'd like to use stress to reroll. Okay. Yes, you can. Okay. I don't know how much stress I have to you burn mark, again. You mark two stress. Mark to mark off two stress. And it's another and strength save. Yep. The twelve. Um, that's still a fail. You see thirteen. Oh, dude, come oh, on. Did... Wait a minute. Oh no! Wait, does that? Where did Ponox go? I feel like I oh. just. No, I have an extra I... plus one because of I have an extra plus one to saves because of um. Thing. Uh, what's his you name? Have, uh... With Blobby. So that's a 13. Oh, okay. Uh, but then that's just enough. Oh. Uh, yeah. So you feel something starts to like suck you deeper into this. Your feet aren't really touching the ground anymore. Like once you go full in, your feet don't feel like they're touching the ground anymore. When you're all in there and you kind of feel like something's like, it feels like everything is trying to grab you very slightly and slowly. And then you just, after a while, like you just start to hear the sound of like a like a very quiet like 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 a if you were to walk past like a the end of a movie theater you hear a bunch of people talking about it but the door's shut just people talking chattering and blah 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 some people scream here and there it just sounds like that in the mud and you're sitting there floating and it tingles yes huh no thank you but if i could get something to drink like just some water it was really good. Yeah, I knocked that out. It was really good. Very simple, um, very good. Um, yeah, and you hover there for a little bit. You feel like you could rest in this, too. You could just close your eyes and sleep in here and rest in this if you wanted. I'm not going to do that. Do I notice anything uh, different about me at this point in time? <laughs> not right now. Uh, when you say rest, would I be able to gain any stress back that I've, like, if I'm relaxing at this point in time? You don't know, but you feel like you could rest in it. You can close your eyes. Just... <laughs> okay. Um. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, no, I'm not, I'm not staying in long enough, but that strength there, that's a little kind of close. I'm gonna get out of that pool for, right, for now. Okay. So you kind of come to yourself and you start to try to move and wiggle. Um, as you're going, 
try to get out of the pool, you realize your feet don't have any purchase. There's nothing that you can put your foot on. I need for you to uh, roll for me another strength saving throw. Okay. Oh, boy. Just go to sleep, Frank. It's okay. Can I do stress Be again to re-roll? Can I do some more stress to re-roll that? You can. It... Another two off. What do you got right now? One. Oh, garbage. Yeah. About to have a You're at one sanity right one now? One stress. We changed it to stress, but yeah. It's it's basically it's same concept, yes. Oh. You can't seem to get out. And now you start to realize this entire time while you've been here, now that you want to escape, you realize I haven't been breathing. Um, and is my head still above water? No, no, no. Or head head above the tar? No, no, no. Now now you're starting to realize I like well, huh? so, something's not right about this. And you start to realize you're like you can't put your feet anywhere. You're just everywhere. Like the tar's everywhere. Like it's everywhere. Like you can't see anywhere. You can't breathe. Something's not right. Mm. I want to get out. You of guys here. look over. You have no clue where, where Pronox is. I want to get like out Isaac. Probably Isaac. You saw Pronox kind of like go to the thing and then just dipped in the mud. And you're like. What the stink is this guy doing? You are yeah, probably the only person who's like, something's not I right. Imagine, I imagine that he saw him. You just, like, this is like what you saw. Him. You saw him like, you saw him dip his arm in, and then you saw him go and like move his body in. And then after a little bit of time, you just saw him sit there, and then you just saw him just sink slowly. Yeah, as soon as he sinks, Isaac's reaction would just be like closing his eyes and just like trying his best not to shout. <laughs> This no. Barnox, roll another. What's your constitution modifier? My constitution modifier is I'm plus one. I'm gonna scream if Barnox dies. Strength we can't lose big P today. Little strength saving throw. <laughs> Nineteen. Thank. Okay. You clawing out just. <sighs> And then uh, you are able to, let's see. Okay. You are able to plop out from this like literally claw up on the beach about like 10 feet away from where you first went out. You just start clawing out and just like kind of like plop onto the ground, just covered in mud. And Isaac, you see this. He just like, like you, you feel this for a moment, but like you're just in this haze. Like your mind feels confused. Like you can't tell between like, you're not even sure if you're in or out of the mud anymore. Like you feel like you could almost breathe again. And then Isaac, you just see him go, and he just pours out just mouthfuls of this gross stuff, lungfuls of this almost. You could just see kind of like sits there. Uh, Parnox, your hit points are now one. <laughs> okay. Oh. Sweet. <laughs> All right. And you feel as if though you have been brought back from the brink of death. And you just kind of like sit there for a moment and just plop down on the beach covered in, in this sludge, this ash, and this grossness. Um, Barnox is going to take like deep breaths, like realizing, okay, I can actually breathe again. Oh, that was this idiotic idea. No, that's a dumb idea. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that was, um, that's a, that's a never do that again moment. Okay. Well, uh, Isaac. Uh, what do you usually do when someone does a dumb idea like that? I'm begging you, please don't hit me. I try my best not to get too angry. <laughs> <laughs> so, Barbarian so, rage somehow, even though he's fighting. Wait, so normally you're supposed to hit them? No, please, I'm asking you really hard not to. If you want to hit him, it'd you be know what? by me. Uh, hot, <laughs> full on, like... Uh, you hear Fletch. Takes their, no, 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 no. <laughs> takes their short sword, 
Uh, yeah. Sheath's still on it, pulls it out, and then slams it down next to Pardox's head. Next to? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just, oh, just this, buddy. Just... Oh, 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 guys. Yes. Yes. This is fantastic. Okay. okay. So we hit him next time. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes. sure. Next time he needs to be hit. This is great. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. None. This is so sad. I'm starting to figure this 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 team thing out. Oh. Okay, and he he puts a short sword back. Um. This turns to Parnox. What did you see over there? Um. I was curious about something, and curiosity, like usual, almost gets me killed. Wait, do um, we put him back in now? Please, God, no. So now you have two people just kind of standing around, coated head to toe in mud. On one corner is slowly kind of slawing off mud, this red-skinned tiefling. And on the other side, one just laying down on the beach, absolutely disgusting. <laughs> what do, do you guys have, do? Uh, do we have character art of the new character? Mm -hmm. Let me put him down. I think so you accidentally put him on Parnox's thing, now that I think about it. Um, definitely. I would never have done that. That's no, crazy. never. That's crazy. You're so right. What, what, what? I don't believe in Parnox. <laughs> create water to wash away the, uh, the Parnox art. Are. Does Parnox have art? Yeah, Parnox. Well, Parnox that didn't get new art after you turned to Warlock. He still had the Barbarium token. Go get some new art. Go get some new art. I got you. Don't worry. I'll get new part. I'll get new next by the next time. I got you. Yeah, I, guess, I got some good warlock art for you. Bless, you a real one. You I'll, I'll send you to your DMs, don't worry. Shoot, you in my DMs like that? That's crazy. Yeah. I'm just gonna put this for Parnox for right now. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Tox. Okay. What do you guys do? You have two muddy boys now, and one of them is this tiefling. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'm sorry, I gotta put them actually in the chat. We just talked about that. So, this is what he looks like. Monsieur Dracul. Oh. oh, by the way, you should probably also figure out some more about him and get his information and figure out what, what's his dealio wheelio. Dealio wheelio. Look I feel like uh, the art I'm sending you is very Parnox core. Parnox core? I love that phrase. Yeah. Own genre. I need this in my life. <laughs> Can you fly? Like, if I threw you off a cliff, could you fly? No, um, yeah, you were right on that one. Actually, you, I can. You could, <laughs> yes. <laughs> if I stabbed you, would you survive? Uh, no. I, I still... Right now, no. The rest of us. Okay. Uh, important information for me to have. I'm, I'm known to stab people. Not people I know. Um, all the time. Well, I hope I don't make your acquaintance of being stabbed. So you don't want me to know you, which means you want me to stab you. Tox. Tox. What is your name? Um, well, I was never... I don't have an official name, just titles the townspeople gave me. Uh, mostly either Dracul or Infierno. Um... Bat? Man bat? <laughs> Man bat? You no, know, like the wings. They have bat wings, so... Uh... It's more... How do I know what a bat is? It's either... You... It's more demonic. Um, my... More, more devilish. More Let's devilish. Be Let's be technical. Um, my pa practically the how I came to be, uh, the people that chose me sacrificed a virgin, and the deity. Hold on, I was down. Oh my God, you're a virgin! Uh, <laughs> you're a virgin killer. They sacrificed a virgin to the deity Asmodeus, so I could become one. And then oh, wait, the no, god was really as I was birthed, and then both of the parents were burnt to a crisp. Nice. So they sacrificed I, a virgin to make a virgin? Well, it embedded a virgin. 
I don't think in bread it means what you think it means. I, I, that means put it in bread, right? It, it loves bread. Bread. Yeah. bread. I don't know. I I don't. We got bread. We got loaves. Wait. So what you're saying is that you were born from a virgin because two people sacrificed them to a deity. This is off topic. We probably don't know. I'm like reverse Jesus. <laughs> While that's all happening, uh, Karnox is... That re reverse Jesus is not a good thing. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> There's a word for it. <laughs> called Satan. The Antichrist. Maybe we should just burn him. <laughs> that is literally it. Yes. <laughs> you, you can try. I've already tried that. <laughs> that's just perfect. I, I love it. Okay, so... Is there any water nearby for them to wash and so Yeah, with? actually, if you guys wanted to, yeah, you can take them over. There is a small little kind of stream that you can just drag from his nearly unconscious body, just plop them in there. If I go under, can someone get me again? I'll save you, Parnox. Thanks, buddy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, so you guys get all cleaned up and tidied, yeah. Um, can I take this because consider this a short rest? Yeah, you guys can take a short rest. Okay, yes, cool. Do we have clothes for this new guy, or is he just completely nude? No, he actually comes with his own nice package deal of clothes and attire. <laughs> nice. That's something. Ain't uh, that a coink dink Alright, cool. Uh, now I have health again. Blessed be. On this short rest, I'm gonna take the uh, nature skill instead of uh, performance. Okay, nature. For my uh, subclass yep. ability. Yep. Um, okay. So, um, uh, what do we do now? I think, well, now that I'm done being an idiot, for now, um, I think we should probably, I think we have to go below. Do you know how to get there? I mean, th the giant hole in the ground is probably a good place to start. Do we need a shovel? I don't think, the hole looked pretty, like it went down pretty deep. I don't know if we'll need a shovel. Oh, yeah. Um... um does anyone have like some form of spell that will assist us in like not falling to our death, or maybe uh, rope? I believe I have. We have some rope. I'm pretty sure. Um. Also, uh, while we're there, uh, Parnas gonna look over to the to, to, um Bismuth. Is like Bismuth. Could I have a little bit of assistance, please? If it isn't too much trouble. Do you like so? <laughs> I'm feeling on, on a scale of one to ten. I'm feeling about a fifteen out of a thirty-nine right now. <laughs> I don't think that's one to ten. You know what? You're so oh right. My God. Are my numbers wrong? No, your numbers are right. I'm just an idiot. All right. So that's oh, what's your wisdom wisdom. modifier? Is it plus three? I'm assuming. Uh, so switching screens on set. No, you good. Like, I'm assuming as since your wisdom is your main thing, I'm assuming it's a plus three. Oh, I like that already. Wait, wait, wait. yeah, that that'll work great. Is that part? Of, is this gonna be part? Of yeah, it's yeah. a plus three. Hey, that looks great. That looks great. Okay, right. cool. I'm now twenty. I'm feeling now like a twenty out of thirty-nine. A lot better. All right, <laughs> but yeah, so he's gonna be like, well. How about this? Why don't we go towards the fissure first, see if it's just a straight shot down, or if there's anything where you can, can climb down, or anything like that. Also, really quickly, can I do I see that dra uh, ved drill that looked like it was like knowing about you know us being you know what we're doing? Uh, he seems to have uh, meander off. Darn. Oh well, too late. Um. So how exactly? Are you supposed to prepare us for this journey? And I turn to the new guy. Um, I beg your pardon. 
He means to ask. We were told. We were told by one of them, and I just sort of like the Black Beast are probably meandering around in general. As it's like that, you would help prepare us for the journey we have to do. Um, so he's asking, what can you do, basically? Um, we all have a well, shtick, basically. Well, um, I was trained in a monastery since I was a young, a young lad. I, I'm, I'm, I'm good I'm, at punching things. I am good at, yes, you could say I'm good at punching things. A little bit of kicking, but mostly punching. Um... I know my way about the field. Um, if you guys would have me, I'm kind of all alone. I'd be willing to join you if you'd have me. If not, I get, I get, I get it. Um, I'm, I know I'm a little weird, uh, but I'd be a great asset if you willing to have me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We don't like that negative self-talk here. Yeah. I was like. Well, so one r really quickly, we think of weird as an endearing term, and I just gestured to all of us with like Cox with a blue <laughs> arm, me with a literally calcified shoulder, the obsidian handed Isaac. I was like, Bismuth is the like, new we, 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 we do Bismuth hasn't <laughs> Bismuth hasn't had his had his weird token happen yet, but we're waiting. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. Uh, How tall is your character? He's He's not a big guy. He's like 5'8", 170. He's still, he's only in his early 20s. Just because you're short does not make you weird. <laughs> so, talks being like, even somehow taller than he was as a barbarian because he's just lanky now. Just like, it's fine. What do you have against dwarves, Tox? I have nothing against dwarves. I just said it wasn't weird. <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna, but yeah. I mean, you seem friendly enough. Uh, as long as you don't do anything to backstab us, we'll be fine because Treyarch. Yeah, like, what's the maybe, consequences? What's yeah, yeah if, if you backstab us, Tox will backstab you, is what he's saying. No, I'll just find out if you can still live with your head cut off. Oh. I'll find a place for you in the room. <laughs> don't worry they, they, they'll, they'll be talks, out they'll is be that, out. talks can i add that to the pin on can i pin that on my board i know we're pinning amnesia on your board can i pin that on mine sure we will definitely talk about it okay cool thanks well no no <laughs> really. never gets talked about again honestly this is actually my first uh set of friends you lived in That's a monastery do you not what's a friend <laughs> I thought I was your friend, Tox. I thought we were... What was that word I remembered in the room? Co-workers. <laughs> Ouch. Just... Par <laughs> Pardox immediately kind of looks down. He's just like nods to himself, like kind of sheds a tear and wipes away. He's just like, it's fine. <laughs> no, what's the word friends? I've never heard that word before. Um, Better than co-workers. Oh, I'd say we're better than co-workers. Like, so, I don't want to murder you, so... Yeah. That's a start. I don't know. I mean, sometimes I want to murder my friend. But I wouldn't. Um, friends is a... What? No, friends is a complex term. We'll put a pin in that one as well. I feel like I'd rather tell you about Amnesia before, before Friends. Um, but so are we, we going down to the... Pit? Yeah, I was going to say. But with that being said, shall we go see if it's feasible to, like, get down and how to do that? So you guys come over to the, the giant smoking fissure. It looks narrow enough to where maybe someone who is... So, like, Bismuth could fit in it pretty reasonably well. But the rest of you guys probably have to, like, squeeze sideways into it. It'll be a pretty tight little crawl. And you get the sense, after a while, it's just going to open up into nothingness. Um, so you would probably need some good rope to be able to get to somewhere even reasonable. I have a question. Yep. You said it was warm air coming out of it, right? Yep. What do I need to roll for Tox to know that warm air rises? Roll an intelligence check. The one he's got like a negative one on. <laughs> I think he... Yeah, no, uh, Tox is... Wait, 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 wait. Real quick. Roll a d100 for me first. I want to see a fate check. Uh, no yeah. 100. Hey! Tet, roll an intelligence check with advantage. Nice! Let's go! We love it. 
Ox was a smart you don't guy. Know why, but you don't know why, but this specific idea clicks like, oh yeah, this is something <laughs> I love that you already knew what I was thinking. Twelve. Wow. Nice. <laughs> you you know it does. You don't know necessarily how you could relatively implement that in a useful way. You don't know like the significance of that. You just know that it probably does do that. Um, well, um, there's hot air rising out of this. I don't know how we could use that, but it is something that we didn't know before. Ooh. Be the player staring at my webcam. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I uh, know that. <laughs> I, g I gave you something. I know. Um, is my familiar at this point in time reformed? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be real quick, cast Find Familiar, just to kind of, like, see how, like, if I can see, like, that, and go down, and see how big that opening is, and stuff like that. See if I can actually, can my Familiar hold rope in his mouth? Yeah. It's gonna hold rope in the it mouth. It can, like, hold, like, an end of the rope. Yeah, hold, hold the, yeah, 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 hold, like, the end of the rope, basically. Yep, yeah. Um, and then what, just, what shape is it right now? It's in a rat form. Okay, so yeah, it like kind of tries to scurry down the rocks. It's like tugging this rope. It's not going great for it, but it's able to do it. Just roll for me a D100 to see how well it can kind of do this. Here we go. 36. 36? Let me look at this. API, I can see my fate chart. This to the side. I'll say it's... It doesn't, ha it doesn't have... I'd say it's below average. Nah, I'd probably say it's pretty low. So low, and how difficult is pulling the rope? It's pretty below average, too. So you said you got, what, 35? 36. Yeah, okay. 36? Okay, yeah, it's able to pull the rope. Okay. Yeah, with, with that. Yeah, you, you'd say it's it's reasonably capable of doing so. What do you? What is it looking for? It crawls down in there and kind of like tucks itself into a little nook, kind of clamoring down, um, and it sees... Uh, a little bit, just from the little bit of pinprick of light, as as it goes deep into there, the darkness really overtakes, and it can't see much past it. Um, I'm basically trying to see if like it can find that guy, because the whole point I'm thinking is, it starts taking the rope, and we're holding the other side basically, and so like yep. it takes it down into that gap. That way, we have something to hold on to when like we hit that gap ourselves. So, it's going. And it can't see anymore. Like it's too dark for the creature to be able to navigate any further. It basically, go like there's like a split in the ground. It goes into the deep, deep of the ground, and then it's carrying this rope. And then after a while, it just okay. It so it goes through going. the fissure, and then so we did it already. Then go through yeah. like that big gap that we were going to fall into. Then basically, it, yeah, it, it it gets to about that point. Okay. Um, and then it can tell it there's nothing there. Like oh, I can't go any further. Um. Ah, uh, dude, I don't, I don't know how I can do that. Hornox, can your familiar be anything? Yeah. Why did you pick a rat and not a bird? Could we have the new guy fly for us? Because <laughs> the guys have wings. I, I, honestly, I'm not strong enough to carry everybody. It's just myself, and it's mostly it's. It's not really flying, it's like falling with style. Have you tried falling upward? Um, I can't do it for very long. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize. Well, wait, can you... Quick question. Can you see in the dark? Uh, I actually... Yeah, I dark vision. Okay. Um, why don't you meet my familiar half down there? Because if you can at least fall gracefully, you can at least get to the bottom of that pit without, you know, taking damage. Exploding, yeah. Yeah, and then that way we have the rope down there the rest of the way. That way we can all go down there as well. Um, what if the rope isn't long enough? I mean, that's something we have to find out, I guess. Does it look like the rope's even close to being done? Because it was like, what, 50 feet of rope? Uh, no, it's only used about 10 feet of rope just to get to that main crevice. Okay. So. Um, sure, I can 
I, I can try. Can you describe what your friend looks like? It's the little pink jelly rat. Jelly rat. Gotcha. Because it's the jelly. That's, that's why. That's true. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm very dead. A lot of times, uh, what uh, what level you got? Six or mm-hmm. thirty. Yeah. So, Brayden, as a monk, if you drop and you fall, and you would have taken up to thirty points of falling damage, you reduce that down to zero. Nice. Just as a monk, just to let you know, you have slow fall. Oh, so you are no. you both both you can fly, and if you fall, you can you reduce take less that damage. damage down significantly. Yeah. <laughs> so no matter what, I'm fine. Basically, you are the best person to do that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Remember, you don't by a lot. Speed. All right. He okay. also has a fly speed. Of uh, forty-five. <laughs> Just remember, you don't have the hover property. You could be um, knocked out of the sky. You're gonna see me just like kind of glance over the edge. He goes, "Oh, I don't even need to fly." And you see me just try to Naruto run down the uh, down the wall. So you kind of like wall. sneak in there and just kind of okay. So you go down in into this. Um, this chasm opens up into a large zone. But with your, how, what's your dark vision range? Thirty or sixty foot? For sure, it's sixty. Uh, Good. I don't know. Hold on, I didn't put it in here. Let me look it up. Is it's sixty foot normally? I'm pretty sure. I think sure, for so. tieflings, yeah. I I have it on the um, uh, what's it called? The mm-hmm. chat. Let me look. <laughs> So with that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's sixty for right now, and sixty. You do see yeah. a small, like crevasse where the smoke is pouring out from. Roll for me a perception check though, with disadvantage, because still dim light. I'm gonna try to do better with lighting rules as well. All right, perception. All yep. Right. Roll. Did it roll? Yep. Roll. Oh. So with that, you uh, you can see definitely that there's an open crevasse, but you can't see much more beyond that in that little zone. You get the sense though, with about forty foot of rope from the top of that zone, you could probably make a nice safe way path, a safe path that would uh, let your friends have a chance to be able to navigate there. It's like a small little cliff, like like the, like the wall of a cave. And then inside of that wall is like a small little slit that you can kind of like get yourselves into, but it still drops farther down if you wanted to keep going and looking. Um, I'm a little nervous. Um, is there is rope long enough for them to get down or no? Yeah, he said it was like 40, so we'd have like just enough. You could, you could get over to the cave, but not down all the way. Mm. Down gonna, all the way, you still can't gonna, see all the bottom. I'm going to signal for them to slowly come down. I wait at least they're a floor above me if anything bad happens. How do you signal to them? I'm just going to just uh, shout out if they can hear me. You guys are good. There's another floor down here, but it's long enough for you guys to get down to me. Okay. As you shout that out, you guys hear it very, very vaguely up, up there. Right, and as soon as you hear that, you see, you hear from the very, very, very bottom of all that. You just hear a... <laughs> like all sorts of screaming, crying, and sobbing noises start to oh no build in the volume below. What do you do? What do you guys do? You guys hear that? Up, up top. What do you guys hear? What do you guys do? You hear? It's good. I'm gonna start making. My you don't way hear down. any of the other noises. I'm gonna start making my way down. You're gonna s- yeah. Okay. With- with me, you see the kind of like the goofy expression on my face turn into like muscle memory of training. Just see like my face just gets all weird and like straight face. He, he pulls the squirrel just up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just whips I, over like ready. I okay, so you're kind of, of like staying on like this corner of the wall. Do you want to go to that 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 like small cave? I'm not dumb enough about myself. I'm waiting for them to come to me. <laughs> so about 10 foot down you guys come and you can hear a bunch of noise you kind of bump into him does anyone have any light sources that they're going to use uh because otherwise we go down oh yeah uh i would like to uh light a torch okay um 
Also, uh, before we go down, I'm in the lenses of shard sight. Uh, just to check to see if there's any invisible things watching us. Okay, nothing. Oh uh-huh, yeah, I okay. forgot that's the thing you got. Awesome. That yeah, I can do it three wait, times wait, a day. Wait, 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 wait. I have to look at something. I was like, actually, I was like, depending on where we are, I was like, you should definitely see invisible creatures. Roll perception check. Just perception. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. But no, you don't see anything. Actually, roll perception. I believe. I believe. Anything called love. Uh, 12. Okay. You see a small little kind of floating orb nearby you. No, nothing malicious. It's just near you, kind of floating about 10 feet-ish away from specifically Isaac. Is it physical? Like, or is this sort of like, like a magical kind of thing? Like some magical, like, like it's very, very, very thin, like orb almost is what it looks like. Um, uh, like, kind of like salute-esque wave at it and go down the hole. Okay. Isaac, what do you do? Uh, kind of just back away from it and try to investigate it. So you don't see it. Yeah. Only talk saw it. Okay. And he turned on the sea invisibility. Um, he didn't say anything, this... so. So Tox is just looking at his uh, general direction. Yeah, he looks at you, salutes at you, kind of a little bit off, and then just walks down. Yeah, like a little bit off from you, I like go like that, and then go down the hole. Okay, and Isaac just shrugs himself and just follows. Okay. I love okay. Tox You so guys much. all go down about 10 feet. Who is anyone not going down right now? No, I don't think so. Torch lighting the way as you guys kind of go. The warm air kind of making everything feel sticky and dusty and dirty. As you guys are clamoring down, the smell of, of burning uh, the pitch of the uh, the torch kind of smells and hits some of you guys' faces. Um, but you guys eventually break out into this wider area where um, you can see this massive drop. And you all hear that kind of chuckling sound, that chuckling crying and all these cacophonous sounds mixing and modeling all together from below, but then you see uh, pointed out... No, actually, oh, your your uh, torch won't be able to reach the light. Could uh, this one see with his dark vision? Yes, you would be able to see, though. I'm not pretty sure torch... Uh, uh, might be able to. 30 feet of uh, bright light, 30 feet so of So you light. barely dimly, you very dimly see off in the distance this, uh, like, cavern that has been pointed out. Okay. Guess we make our way over. To the... So more business going to follow. Free drop. The new like guy. A free drop. Then you have to get to the wall. Uh. Let me see if I can illustrate it or draw it for you guys. Let's see this. Oh, do we get to? Do we get to? Part time. The MS Paint time. Yeah, yeah baby. Time. Let's go. We love MS go. Paint time. Let's freehand. Yeah, let me try to illustrate it a little bit. So, if this is going to be the surface, okay? This is mm-hmm. the surface, and this yep. is the start of the fissure, okay? Yep. Let's go to freehand. You guys effectively have done this. I'm going to put I'm going to put brown as the rock, okay? You guys have kind of kind of gone and like gone down underground a little bit, about ten foot, and then it opens up wide into this kind of zone. Mm-hmm. And on this cavern wall over here, like there's two cavern walls now. On this cavern wall over here is basically an entrance that leads further in. Okay. So I just want to confirm. Um, I'm gonna. And then I'm gonna... below is everything terrible in the world. So like, is our rope going down like this, or is it going down like? Like this. So, the first right now. But it can be over there. The only way to get that, though, because like you guys are, are right about here, the only way is to get someone over there to make that rope kind of taut. Brayden sees a way to do that. He could do that. 
With an acrobatics check, he could try to get over there by climbing on the top of the walls and finagling his way over there. A serious checks, or he could just fly over there. I could just fly. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. You have to spend the key point to use Step of the Wind, so mark off a key point, and then you could fly over there with the rope. Wait, do I need to use... Hold on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to use my key point and just fly up there. It okay. Like you easy. spend a key point, step of the wind, grab the rope, just kind of... What does it look like when you use this? You're going to... Why did you step of the wind? It's almost huh? like you've seen One Piece where like Sanji like kicks up the air as you as he's running up on the air. Do you see me just sure. casually like jumping, like double jumping in the air and getting up on the ledge? <laughs> he does the <laughs> Mario double jump. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yahoo! He's super, super Smash Brothers platform jump. So now you get over there. Are you are you going to hold the rope tight? How are you doing this? I'm gonna look for a boulder or a giant rock that I can hold their weight. And maybe Roll a survival it. check for me. Ooh. Also, smoke is billowing out from this zone. and From it's the coming middle zone up. or like out of the... Oh, okay. Like this. This is how it's Oh, doing. come on! Nice. Damn. You find a really good rock. <laughs> you are very confident you can <laughs> get in there. <laughs> oh, no. Right. You find a really good rock. I mean, you are very confident this rock will work. I mean, but I got to... <laughs> what you going to yeah, do? You're confident. You you know this rock can support them. You I'm know gonna, this rock can support I'm gonna, them. I'm going to attempt to tie it. Okay. All right. Make a slight hand check real quick. As you tie in this knot. I want to see how good this knot is. I have literally been horrible in all my stuff. Please. 17. Hey, that's okay. pretty decent. You were very confident pretty this decent. is a really good. You tie it around like a stalac, uh, what is it? Stalac nut mite. Yeah. So coming up from, the ground. from the ground. So I've it's learned it. Stalac mite, because tight, tight, I'm tight to the ceiling. I remember it. I don't remember who's told, taught me this. I've been taught this 15 times. Stalag mite is so. ground, G for ground, C for ceiling. Okay. So, so as you guys uh, see this rope is kind of taut. And you guys could probably, like, literally, in theory, like, grab it and just kind of, like, climb across. Shimmy sham it. Like yeah, it would be a lot. But you'd think you'd be able to make that athletics check probably a lot <laughs> easier. You may, Maybe even you probably could play a sub-weapon and, like, zip line towards it, you think. That's exactly what Tox is going to do. Yeah, right, bro. Who's going first? Tox? Tox going first? Yep. I have the light. Okay. Tox with the torch in his hand. Tox, do me a favor. Just roll a d100 for me. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know why we love it. I just want to do it. 24. All right. Now roll for me a uh, athletics check as you're going across the zone. An athletics check? Not acrobatics? <laughs> you can try to climb across for the acrobatics. Oh, athletics. Hey, you, did really good. You, get a, you hold on to your blades. Oh, this is tiring. This isn't easy. It's bumpy. Okay. Yeah. You land safely on the other side. All right. See, Braden. It, it it did help. It, it held everyone. See. Now who is who's next? Uh, I'll go next. Okay. How are you getting across? What do you want to do? Uh, I'll climb over. Okay. You're gonna like climb the rocks and not take the rope. All right. With the uh, the acrobatic. Oh, with the rope. Okay. Yeah. The acrobatics up. And so, okay, so you're literally going to climb the rock. Okay. Acrobatics at a higher DC, go for it. 18 was the DC, and you hit it with 19. So good job. Nice. You do clamor your way across, and once you kind of get to the other side, you like plop down. <laughs> you see him literally climb the entire way across. It's like, why? You had the rope right there. Breath of the Wild out of nowhere. Yeah, I know, right? Thankfully, there's no rain down here, though. Bismuth and Pardox, two left. Who goes go next? Athletics. I'm going to go for Bism athletics. Bism okay. Go next. Roll athletics check. Okay, now roll a D100 for me. <laughs> oh. Don't fear the D100. It's perfect. 77. This was about halfway through. You hear 
across the way a as you guys look and you see that slack tight or slack bite that you've been that has like tied to the knots holding great the slack bite is not <laughs> the, the entire tip goes Quack! as the sturdy dwarf gets about that midway point and the entire rope just kind of gives out and like this rock just flink okay so he's currently free, so is this he free fall now the rope you want to try to grab the rope yeah I'm going to grab my waist and try to grab the rope. <laughs> Dexterity saving throw. Can I assist? Dexterity saving throw. Right. Uh, okay. That's why I'll grab my waist. Uh, 25. Okay, you grab the rope. And then for me, Dexterity saving throw. Yeah, and he's trying to, like, plant his feet. 19. Every, pers- every person who... Okay, you grab, you grab the waist. Every person who's doing this will reduce the DC by 5. Is it close enough to save? Or yep. Help? Yep. Yep. Dexterity saving throw as you see this all snap. You're like, oh, oh. Isaac, you are not fast enough to grab in time to uh, actually help with this section. Okay. So, both of you, John and uh, Brayden, I want you both to roll strength athletics checks. Six. I do want you to know if. If Tox thinks that this is going to go off the edge, uh, like if this is going to pull him off, he is going to no. release this. Yeah. Well, I got a nat 20 on advantage. <laughs> I'm haunting everybody okay. if I die. I want you to know that. Bismuth, is there anything you want to do on this rope to, to help your uh, individuals who are trying to save your life because you're about to plummet down into... Uh, just I as a head, know, who knows, I, I was, was going to say, because this is all happening at the same time, um, Parnox is already over the edge diving towards Bismuth. Oh, you just dove? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Uh there's Bismuth, a very do you good do anything reason. to help out, or are you just like, I I'm 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 here for the ride. I think I know what Frank's gonna do. Night. Hell yeah, you do. <laughs> do it. Do you do anything? Sorry, I didn't hear it. One second. Let me let me look at my spell real quick. Gotcha. I swear if you have Misty stuff. As a cleric, I don't know, man. That'd be no. terrifying. I mean, hey, so, you know, race, man. Misty Step. <laughs> Next turn. Uh, uh, yeah, war clerics, I think, get Misty Step. No, that's crazy. That's wild. Can you imagine? Misty Step into a crowd. Pop that. <laughs> Pop the AoE. Maybe I'm thinking of, like, Knowledge Domain. I might be thinking of Knowledge or Arcane, arcane Domain. I also could be thinking of Baldur's Gate because that game has consumed my entire existence. It's a really good game, though, from what I heard. It is a really good I've game. Watched. My computer can't run it. Rip. I closed my eyes way too hard a little while ago, and they just hurt now. Oh, no. How far down is the end of the cavern to where we hear the laughing? You have no clue, but it's greater than 60 feet. Ooh, that's death. I'd say first death happened a bit ago. Yeah, oh. We don't know death yet. We just know gone. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, little do you know, Tox died a few sessions ago. He's actually been. Um, what is that nah, race? Robana's dead. No. What is that Robana race? Died. Oh rip! <laughs> what is that race that uh, like they're dead but they're like alive until they reborn? Like, reborn. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, if nothing immediately comes to yeah, mind, I'm gonna accept to my feet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Parks, Parks, yeah. you feel like you're about gonna go off. You let go. Yeah. Uh, uh, then he I... lets go. Oh, yeah. Would my witch bolt be able to support his weight, or would then I have no effect? A witch bolt does not because it's like lightning. Parnox, mm. look what all this is happening. Parnox, is, I'm ready. Oh, yeah. to, I'm, I'm coming, Bishmith. <laughs> I love you. You're my best buddy. You know that? I love you. What's that? There's people who are about to die in a cavern. Not if I can That's help me. It. That's me. He say, He's he talking say, about me. Hey, jump. <laughs> jump. Say, live. Say, dice. Die. Say, 20. <laughs> I'll be right back. Amazing. Say, six. Jump. I love you. Bye bye. Night night. No chase, you can't have the canola. Cut. 
So, Bardox, you dive. Uh, yeah. uh, so, Isaac, is there anything else you want to try to do? You can't grab on in this time frame. But, <laughs> and the Witch Bolt is not like a lasso in the true sense of it. It's literally like a electric, like, coil effect. Like, like electrical energy arc kind of thing. Uh, question. Do you honestly yeah. believe my character could support his body if I were to fly down and grab him? You mm. could for six seconds, and then after that you will drop <laughs> very fast. Just trust me, I gotta... Like the... <laughs> so at the end of your turn, you will fall 500 feet per per, se- per round after, at the end of your turn. So, and hey, you're... so you will have to... You have to find a way to get him from there back to you uh, at half speed. Do I have anything Which to do? you could do, in theory, if you move action dashed with your flight. Uh, ju- uh, Frank, Frank, you also do see Parnox is jumped off. Parnox, what are you doing? Um, I'm trying to basically grab onto Bismuth midair. Okay, you have grabbed on the Bismuth midair. It's in mid, in midair. Do I see? Do I? See, I see everyone. I see that torch there, and I see like that entrance. Correct. Yep. You see that entrance. I am thunder stepping midair into that section with Bismuth. <laughs> okay. You hear a, and it resonates through the ca- cavern. Does it appear again? Like, do you do damage when you appear? No, it is only from the area that I leave. So you appear. On this other side. And the cavern shakes. And there is no more sound for a bit. And then you hear. That sound gets louder and louder. And you hear this gross sloshing. From somewhere. Uh, what do you guys That's do? That's not funny. Um, the cavern that we're in. Has, like. the Because the, uh, the torch is there. Can I, How far back can I see with this billowing smoke? Uh, it's very difficult to. It would be heavily obscured. Um, I have a question. Well, yeah. Hypothetical. Uh, can I light an arrow on fire and drop it into the pit? Yeah, you absolutely can. Yeah, you I'd like to do that. Fire. You drop, drop it, it into, into the, the pit. pit. It falls and falls and falls. And then after about, I'd say about 85 feet, you can look kind of down. And you see something on the walls of the cavern, kind of slowly, like sliming its way up, and it just looks like one thousand faces. Okay, uh, I just slowly. I think we should go into the smoke. I think that's a good idea. Okay. And it's chuckling and crying, and when it lands on one of them, you hear one of them like screams out in pain and cries, but it's slowly just undulating its way up the walls. I don't like the term undulating. That's that. that uh, yeah, that's, and just like that, uh, we're leaving. Yeah, just like that, you know, I'm gonna, I'm just... <laughs> just dips. <laughs> nice nice playing the campaign with y'all. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I, I'm trying to paint the grossest picture of what this... Yeah, this is no. because this thing is horrible. Also, I think you've succeeded. also since yeah, this, this since this horrible. is being brought back up, because I don't think I've ever t- I talked to anybody about the vision that like or like the secret that I was basically given in return. Um, would I be able to understand that that thing is whatever they said is shoal? Yes. Oh, okay. When you look at that, that that name appears. Albeit, there's something re- reserved in your mind. It's like yeah. kind of like part of. Like yeah, that's kind oh. of right, but this isn't the entirety of it. This okay. is this is like it's like if I saw a hand of someone and I'm like, oh, I recognize that hand. Got it. Okay, it's like there's more to it than okay. Understood. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sick. 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 What sick, you sick, saw sick. in that chamber was like, oh yeah, that's it. That's it. This what is what more like this is, is a like, portion. Of this a is whole. like part of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. It's portion of a shoal. Also, man, if I if I was making episode titles, that would be what this is called: portion of, portion of a shoal, portion of a shoal instead of a. Shoal. That's pretty of- sick. That is pretty sick. Um, quick question: so I can cast Mage Hand. Would I understand? Like, I understand Mage Hand is like the whole thing is like it can interact, but it can't like do things. Would I be able to tell if it hit something that like no longer was able to move forward? 
Like in, in, no. inherently? You don't no? have any sensation. Okay. Well, never mind. Um, I look at everyone's like, so we're going that way, right? And I point towards into the cavern. I was like, yep. The big toxins are running that way. At least he's like, yeah. I hate this here. Yeah, like I hate it here. I want to go now. Cop starts to move his way over. Also, the rest our... of you guys going? On Four feet. Unrelated. What did you say your characters? What did we agree on the character name for your character, Brayden? Or is it just like you were to say giving us multiple names? Call him Ignis. Ignis. I'm calling them Ignis Red. Aramis. Dracula I read. I'm Berna. calling him Red. Inferno. Okay, so Ignis. Got it. Yeah, oh, for a second, Iggy. I Ig Iggy. I I came up with that. I I. It's Dracula Infer Dracul Inferno were the two names he gave, depending on. Ah. Who you're talking to? Because they're both derogatory terms, effectively. That was given him. God, so we're getting him Ig oh. Ignis, or I'm gonna call My him Big Iggy. Red, like the. I'm just gonna call him Big Red, like the gum. He's like, yo, what's up, Big, Big Red? Red? Is funny. Big Red, <laughs> Big Red. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. There's no These one knows. Names just, These names are just activating my One Piece and uh, Final Fantasy brain rot. <laughs> <laughs> All All right. <laughs> Yeah, no, you Wait. asked, uh, like, so are we going down down this area? And Tox yep. is already, like, 20 feet away from you guys, looking back, Sprinting. like, of course we are, that <laughs> thing is freaky. You're like, it's scary, <laughs> I want to go. It's undulating. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even know what that word means, but I know I don't like it. Uh, I'll put a pin in that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> you look over at his conspiracy board-looking shenanigans. I've got... You guys uh, go deeper into uh, this cavernous region, and as you guys continue on, uh, the sounds are everywhere. Like, the, the place is just horrible. It's just bad. You eventually kind of go, though, um, and you see what looks like a... Uh, like a structure made out of maybe like a... like a mycelium or something like that, like some mushroom... Like building, an old ruined mushroom type building with stone intermingled with it. Off to your right, kind of built into the cave wall. Um, does this remind me of when we went to with about the like rot vine at all? Like when we yep. went there? Yep. No. No, this looks different. Anyone here can make a uh, history check. Oh boy, I'm great at that. Oh roll. Oh, okay. Apparently, I read a nat twenty. Um, your thoughts kind of like, like you think recently, if not for the fact that you had met Lupe the medic, who is a drow. What when when you sit look there, look at this, it clicks in your head. This is an old like drow structure. Okay. From like the like a like a like a blacklands drow kind of structure is mushroom kind of mycelium type mixed with really ornately carved stone and different types of like. Like uh, maybe even woods and stuff. Sometimes very, very rarely brought from the surface. Mm -hmm. Old, old like drow under dark kind of settlement kind of thing. Okay. Uh, that's the, I was looking at. I was like, well, that seems as a good place as any way to at least go in to see if there's anything we can get to help us. And I explained that this is a drow encamp, like it looks like an old drow civilization, or encampment. Is that supposed to be a good thing? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think it's better than the undulating thing behind us. Um, which yes. also, I have to tell you guys a little thing about it that I know about that. After we're a little bit safer. Okay, Benga, uh, let's okay. go. Or where do we go? In. I was like there, and I point towards that and thing. I was like, guess... "Underdark." Woo! Yo, hey, uh, real quick, my Kedra sheet doesn't exist anymore. Okay, why'd you do it? Why'd you do that, Brayden? Can't I believe don't... you've done this. I All could... of a sudden, you gave it went you red, gave you gave me white. Did you give me access instead? No. Nope. Okay, I can just see him. Have you refreshed the page? Let me refresh. Roll twenty. Yeah. I'll try that. Yeah. Refresh okay. the page. Maybe that'll fix it. You'd be surprised. 
Have you tried turning it on and off? You would be surprised how often I have to tell people no. to refresh their page. Now it's just a red screen. It's armor class and strength. Are you using uh, a supported browser? Are you um, in... Okay, so you should look at Brayden, new character, that folder in characters, and then you should see Dracula Inferno. Yeah, I hit, I, I hit that. And, and hit it's just... Yeah, I've already done that. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. It's literally a white screen. Uh, don't do it. Yeah, okay, so that's been happening to me. Don't click edit. Click the pop out, and you should get your actual character sheet. Yeah, that's where I get the freaky white screen from. When you do the pop out? I will share my screen. Yeah. Oh, you're listed as a creature. And not as, like, a character. Okay, no, click the pop-up on the left-hand side, sir. I know, watch, yep. nothing. That's Doesn't... it. See, this yeah, is you not... are as, you are an NPC. It's t it uh... has you as an NPC. I'm gonna re remake your uh, character sheet. That would make Aww. sense. It all makes sense. There we go. Uh, also, just to randomly know, because I want—I have it listed under your stuff, Tox, but I just want to make sure. The stuff you found and the thing was a wind-up, a big wind-up key, a linen cloth. Cover, oh, I couldn't change it. Linen cloth covering something. A glass-like gem that's like a tear with the, a tear with feel, but not, uh, and then something else under the linen that we never looked at. Uh, right. a hidden lockbox inside the lockbox was a strange gem that is reminiscent of the tear of Uthiel. Yep. Uh, a wind-up toy soldier that's bigger than normal, and a very fine linen cloth that's covering something that you did not pull off, that you did not move the linen cloth. Yes. Okay. That's what I have. I need to change find in my notes to find. Not for E. Um, I also uh, found there was also a wooden carving kit, some papers with bad music written on them. <laughs> and nothing else really important. No <laughs> bad music. He was a bad jester. Uh I'm not gonna lie to you, if uh Isaac didn't find out uh like the information they did. I was gonna be like, "Hey, I can provide like entertainment for you guys if you uh, if you tell us where the crown is hmm. or where the the chalice is." Hey, we're, I'm fine with murdering some people. Amazing. I'm fine with removing jawbones. Anything to add bodies to the room. Wee -wee. Yeah, what you guys doing? Uh, going to the Into drow, that stronghold? drow stronghold structure. Is what? it is it a stronghold yeah. like city village? No, it just looks like a a singular house carved into this wall. Yeah. Okay, you open up the door and stride into there, and you see uh, an old what what looks like maybe a like a barracks guard post checkpoint, maybe. Mm -hmm. And as you start to look around, you can see uh, very clearly this has been abandoned for a long time. Um, you look over and you can see uh, old weapon racks and different things. Um, long, long abandoned. Uh, you see it's covered in a thick, thick layer of ash. Uh, but beyond that, uh, can what, I, what, what are you guys looking for? Can I see looking if there's at? anything that's like that survived the time that's mm -hmm. been that it's worn roll for me um you guys can either roll investigation or survival checks i'm looking with i'm i'm looking with my fingies i'm digging in there so that's an investigation check baby 19 okay you find uh a set of two wonderful looking uh Let's see. What are the what are the ones called when we throw them? They're not vials. They are um Flasks. Flasks. Flasks, that's it. So you see two flasks that glitter and shimmer whenever they kind of like like you move them. You touch them and they glittered and shimmered for a bit and then they settled themselves down. Okay. And that's anything else or is that Ms. it? Smith, as you're looking around, you don't see anything. Neither does Isaac. Um, Anyone rolling to survival? Uh, could I run that as well as the investigation, I guess? Or... You're, you are currently busy looking for stuff. Okay, I was about to say. 
Oh, my eyeball. Ah. Can I use my brewer's kit on those two uh, vials that Frank found? Or Parnox, I should say. I was going to say, because as soon as I get those, I'm going to I'm going to discern it. Yeah, yeah, yeah use I'm your brewer's kit to see if you can un identify what's going on. Yep. Let's go, baby! Oh, is there a way for me to, like, lock the doorway we came through? Yeah, you could just shut it. It's got an old, old, old lock. Yeah, close the door. I would okay. rather that thing not be able to just go into there. Fair. Not high enough. Okay. What did he roll? Oh, uh, roll, roll, roll with your bruise kit. So, I think that's going to be wisdom plus proficiency. I able or. A, Go crazy, Bismuth. Plus your proficiency, sure. which our proficiency right now is three, so that's a 16. Okay. You kind of look at them. You taste it, and you like spit out a little bit. You're like, oh, this is kind of gross. You spend a little bit of time figuring out. Um, you know these are uh, flasks of fairy fire. Oh. They allow you to basically throw and cast a spell fairy fire. Them. Um, re really, uh, how I want to do something because we have something, I don't want to use it. But uh, Tox, you closed the door behind us, so I was like, I want to, I was gonna see something. I mean, we can open the door. I was like, we'd have to, we'd have to, we would all have to step outside at least for like half a second while I do something, not even half a second, barely that actually. Is it going to get us killed? No, it won't get us killed. Oh, uh, I mean, if it won't get us killed. Unless uh, I was like, unless the thing's right outside, which I'm assuming it's not, because we, I'm assuming we'd hear laughing as it's coming towards us, because it's making constant sounds. Uh, you hear the sounds constantly. Uh, nothing seems to be getting closer or farther, as best as you can tell right now. Okay. Um, but yeah, because we haven't, nobody else has found anything, right? And I'm not seeing anything else besides those two. No one, no one else has, yeah, no All one right. else has, uh, looked in any different way. Yeah. Unless, I was like, yeah, unless you guys want to look in a different way, and then I'll wait. I'll leave all. I mean, the only one that hasn't rolled is, uh... No, we've all, it's like, in case you wanted to roll survival instead of investigation, though. Uh, what is their name? Big Red. Big Red. Ignis. Oh, Big Red. Iggy. So, is it even an Ignis? It's not even Ignis. It's like inf Inferno. Yeah, Inferno. I want to call him. I'm changing yeah, it. I still like. I'm putting it in as so, Ignis, and then I'm just putting in parentheses next to it, Big Red. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll take Ignis. Iggy, let's go. <laughs> I like how you came up with this really dramatic name, and we immediately give you a nickname. You're right. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up, Big Red? I thought I'd this is why I'm tax tox real Whitlaw, aka Tox. I'm just idiot. The the idiot. Nah, you're Big P. I am the tallest. I think I am actually like the tallest person in the group. Yeah, that's why you're Big P. I think I'm like. What are you trying to say, Frank? Dwarfs can't be tall. No, my father was a giant. At least that's what I. At least that's what I believe wholeheartedly. And not that I'm oh just a, and not that I'm just a super and not that I'm just an abnormally tall human. Big P, little B. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah. So, uh, it, it, did Brayden are you? We need someone. Yeah. You gotta. Roll, you haven't. Roll, we haven't I, seen you roll yet. That's why we, we were wondering if you. I didn't have it. a character sheet yet. So. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I was. I was waiting okay. the whole time. I was like. That's fine. Waiting. So beyond that, as far as you guys can tell. Uh, you have not been able to discern anything else. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to ask everyone to step outside for a quick second. Um, and then once everyone is outside, because this looks like a, basically a singular building, yes? Yep. Uh, once everyone's outside, I'm going to ring uh, the uh, Backrix bell. Oh, okay. So everyone goes out. Ding, ding, ding. The building kind of shifts and shimmers. The door slams shut, and then it waits for someone to open it. And I'm going to open it. 
you open it up and inside when you open the shop is now no, there's no dead skeleton in the corners it there's not no empty ar armor racks and stuff oh. it's just a blank building with what looks like a counter uh that is nice and clean nothing else is there the st upstairs zone is nice and clean uh the sign and the magic mouth are gone everything seems empty yes okay when you guys walk in uh does everyone go in yeah. I actually had a question. Uh, yeah. uh, when we walked into that cavern, did we still see the smoke that we saw initially from the entrance? Yes. But we're still unsure where it's coming from. It's not coming from the building we were in. No, it's going. It's coming from further down the way. This is just like a side side path. Okay. Well, yeah. I go back inside the building. Yeah, I'll go in too. So yeah, I'll go in. So every so everyone's in the building and then also like we're in here and it is empty. There's nothing in here, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to do a test on the counter. I want to place um I'm going to place one of my fire hand ammo just on the counter. I'm going to leave it there. Yep. You put that on the counter and you wait for a second and it just kind of seems to uh, roll around back and forth in place for a little bit. About eight seconds go by. Nothing happens. Oh no, I'm leaving that there for a different for a different test. Oh, is there sorry. a bell for me to click? Like to click in there? Like is there nope. no? Um, question: The thing I saw before the floating orb is that still there? Because the invisibility lasts for one hour, so. Interesting. So this belt hole, this belt hole thing is different then. Let's see. I'm looking at something. It's actually interesting. Okay. Oh no, you don't see it. Okay. Um, when you guys are kind of waiting there for a little bit of time, you see a kind of hand reach up on the counter. And then, like... It like looks like like it's trying to pull itself up, but its hand just kind of shimmers through the counter. Uh, can I go behind the counter to see if there's somebody there? You don't see anyone there. But I saw that hand. You did. Can I try to help the grab towards that hand to help them up? Uh, you don't see the hand anymore. Oh. Uh, after seeing, I was like, "Hello, are you okay? Do would you like some assistance?" Oh, one second. Give me a moment. Uh, it's been quite some time since I've woken. Uh, <clears throat> oh, and you kind of look over and like from the corner of you guys' eyes, like you weren't paying attention, you just see kind of like plopped, like laying down. And like the side wall is the skeleton just kind of sitting there, like in very fine clothes, like like look, look, look like a butler almost. Hello? And you just kind of hear sourceless. Yes, yes, I know. Hello, how are you all doing? C could be better, all things considered, but... I'm doing all right, I, all things considered as well. I'd say middle ground. Ooh. I'm sorry, I, it's been a uh, few... Uh, it's been a few... Oh, time uh, uh, since I've had someone at my shop. Oh, hold on, give me a second. Okay. Kind of 
you, you, you can hear the stretching and groaning. Then you hear a pop, pop. And then you see the shelves and everything that's empty just starts to, like, apparate with ethereal images of, like, items. Oh. And they just kind of fill in. You know, you see small potions fill in the counter. The shimmering images fill in for a second. And then you hear uh, the voice kind of says, Well, hmm. it seems that my power has waned quite over the years, but I think over time we might be able to reinstate that. Hello, my name is... <coughs> Well, I was. I I am the memory of the High Lord and Mage, uh, Bakrik. Uh, how may I be of assistance to you? Um, I'm just wondering what do you sell. Well, at this moment, and you can hear him like groan and stress, and you see like appearing on the countertop like three just items. There's a bunch of spectral stuff around. You just see three items kind of like appear for a moment and you see uh what looks like a uh a like hammer, like a war hammer. You see something that looks like a uh a like potion, like a like a like a oil almost. Mhm. Mm and then you see something that looks like a uh like a very thin needle. Okay. Like ah, that's it. Ah. The best I could do, I suppose, but I mean, that's that's more than enough. Um, what if you don't mind me asking, what are they? I was like, I feel like that's a warhammer. What are these two things? Uh, let's see, what is that? Yes, that's right. Uh, this this was um, uh, an oil of shimmering haze coated upon a weapon, strike a foe, and they start hallucinating as if though they had an invisible attacker on them. Okay. What of that? Is that a sewing needle? No, no, no. Silly. That is not a sewing needle. That is a, that is a tool used for old uh, practice of medicine known as a lobotomy. Oh. This was to go and jumble up the brains of people, but it, it has taken... It has performed so many of these processes that it actually can do it on its own. You can, uh, how do you say this? Uh, you can take it to someone who's, uh, let's say, less than alive, and it can actually toy with their brain and cause them to talk as if they were uh, speak with dead was cast. Mess with oh. the nerves. Okay. Um, Be wary, though. Every time, every time you use it, it takes a toll on your psyche. Okay. It's quite quite a sight to see. I would I believe it. So, uh, basically what he's saying is uh, there's a nice metal Warhammer. It's a Moonforged Warhammer. So, it glows slightly uh, in the darkness and acts as if there were a torch. Um, and it can, it is considered a magical weapon to creatures who are who have, uh, like, sunlight sensitivity. Okay. Um, Take my money. And <laughs> it also does radiant damage. But yeah. <laughs> cool. So literally a cleric's best friend. Got it. Um a moon cleric's best friend, yes. So uh the next one is uh oil of shimmer is, haze, which causes Yeah. Like, the oil of shimmer haze, you apply to weapon, um, and you can create um you can damage creature if they fail a DC fifteen constitution saver throw. For one minute they are afflicted with the spell uh phantasmal killer. Okay. And what does Phantasmal Killer do again? Which basically convinces them that someone's fighting them and attacking and hurting them. Uh, in <laughs> their they, deepest fears. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they take 40 10 psychic damage. Every at turn at the end of each of their turn? That's insane! Mm hmm. Oh my, okay. Uh, and, and then the last... Save. Yep, and then the last one is basically a needle of it, lobotomy, which allows it, you to do cast so, speak to dead. Yeah. What what it what it is called is uh, <laughs> over-eager lobotomy needle. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Does it cure amnesia? No, I don't, uh, that's not how lobotomy works. It does not cure anything. It is able to effectively cast speak with dead 
uh, once per day, but whenever it performs this, it affects all creatures or the creature who is asking the questions by draining some sanity. Create, mm. yeah, so draining some stress, yeah. Um, some stress, yeah. If I may ask, uh, backer, what is because I apologize, I'm not gonna let I'm not, this is the first time I've entered this establishment. Well, no, this is the first time that I've summoned this establishment. Last time we were here. There wasn't really a shop. It seemed more like a storage space. It was very odd. That was, uh... You came... Probably in the midst of a contingency. Yeah, it's been... Ah, uh, so long. Now, do you want to know what year it is by any uh, chance, Backrick? Or no? No, no, I know what year. Um, here. I'll... Let me... Hmm. So... Here's the, the problem I'm running into. My essence is running very thin. This is a this is a backup for me to be able to uh, live on, I suppose. Ah. But uh, uh, phantasms that exist out in the realm could empower me again and help my memory and my strength in this location. It's foggy on how exactly that works. If you find a willing ghost to I don't know if it wants a home, a place to live that's not its terrifying eternal existence. They can live in this place, and... I know somebody who does! It will also help my thinking to come back, as I can borrow from their essence. Okay. And it will give me more strength. So here's my question. If I have ghosts that do want to do that, but they're unable to leave, how would they join? Would I just bring the bell out and they join the bell? I don't remember exactly, but I do know that what I set up here in this spell is sufficient to bring them to me. Okay. I don't remember how I did it. Maybe over time I can remember that. Okay, well, I will let that be for another time. Um, Since this is the first time I've actually been able to speak with you and there's a sh shop, um... How much does this cost? Slash, is there a cost? Because I don't know how money works with you. Because you said you're a memory slash a phantasm slash not. It's quite simple. Um, everything in these existences costs something. Spell components, structures, the universe based off of mechanics principles to some degree comes off of time representing currency, something like that. I'm able to literally buy more time okay. with what you give to me. Uh, and so that is the currency. Wealth is more of this objective construct to these people, but if it is something valuable to you, it represents then something that can be given as an exchange, and I can receive time from the fugue plane to exist here. Okay. So, Understood. I have, the fugue plane. I have... <laughs> Not again. Yes. So there is a city in the midst of the plane where you can effectively barter your way either into specific domains or you are just sent where they determine you are best to fit or they don't send you anywhere and you wander free, fruitlessly. I lean over to talk I, to my pin this for later. <laughs> I have, um, with great wealth, found a way to pause my transmission to a different location that I do not wish to go. And I have used the shop as a means to continue my vacation, I suppose. Okay. And eventually, one day, to escape the fugue itself. Valid understanding. I lean over to then, I look over then to uh, Bismuth. I was like, well, I'm assuming you want that. So I'm going to let you figure out how you want to pay for that. And I'm just going to kind of like walk away because I'm not really interested in anything that's currently being sold. So, I know that hammer though. So the needle, the needle is good. The, the needle is going to be uh, 18 chitin. The uh, hammer is going to be 30 chitin. Oh and my! The, um, and the oil is going to be eight chitin. I lean over to Bismuth. 
for hats. We don't have those liquid funds right now. Another trade for the Warhammer. Is there anything else you find value in in this world? Uh, uh, if you brought to me a specter, I could pay you coin. Or chips, kite wing pieces, whatever you'd call them. Man, but too bad Ravana's not here. We'd have so two specters for you. So what you're saying is that uh, potentially you would buy their soul for the hammer? Uh, no, I won't. Well, I suppose purchasing. It would be more of this. Is I will only accept willing creatures. Can I or, trade you my soul? Person. With the Warhammer, in the case of my death. Uh, I don't. You really I want the hammer? <laughs> I will hold it here for a time. This moon forged Warhammer. Come back when you have the coin for it. 30 tight. Okay. I'm ready now. I'm just not in gold. 30 kind is th uh, 300 because it's basically platinum to yep. gold to platinum style. Yeah, 300. Now, mind you, that doesn't sound bad, but until you realize the black land is like really skippy on gold, too. Yeah, <laughs> so. bro, the fact that we have 30 gold pieces right now is wild. As the, I, 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 75 or something? I, you, well, that's your personal. I don't, I haven't, I make sure not to mess uh, with yours because, like, as a personal, like, party inventory, we have like 30 gold, not counting chitin. Unfortunately, I do not have the liquid fund. Yeah, it's like, wait, 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 here, I will say, if we can get back later on to, well, neither of you have been there, but Isaac and I have, uh, Alabaster Ruins. Isaac, you remember, there were a lot of um, phantasms there. Maybe there'll be a few that would like a place to uh, stay. Yeah, I can think of one of them, at least. I know one too. I'd be so down that if he actually gets to stay like in there, I'd be so down, especially if he has his own little cooking corner, like a little smoothie shop corner. I'd be so down. You'd be shot. Oh my All god, right. it just uh, keeps adding on to the show. Yes. Alright, um I was like, well Thank you so much, Backrick. Um I with that though, uh, I will make sure to keep an eye out for any willing phantasms that want a new like you said, a new like home. Basically, um, to be freed from the abysmal situation and to join, uh, not a hive mind, but a melding of spirits and minds and souls and vitalities to become eventually, hopefully, something new and stronger between the two, three, maybe 18 of us. He's making a ghost union, understand. More like taking fragments of souls and reforging a completely new one. Ah, uh, okay. I like the Ghost Union Morgan. Um, Same difference. <laughs> um, but I was like, all right, well, I will make sure to keep an eye out. With that, though, um, unfortunately, I apologize to have wasted, well, not wasted your time, because we have actually been able to speak now, but No, this is, I, now that I know oh, that someone has found my bell, it's just been a few hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, but... Now that I can awake, uh, my clock starts ticking again, but that means that I also have an opportunity to perhaps continue my plan, which is excellent. Thank you. Not a problem. My um, plan of reforging. Mm -hmm. Well, I will bid you good day, and I shall see you another time. Uh, and I looked at her and I was like, I guess I'm going to pick up the bullet also off the counter since my, th uh, oh, actually before I leave, since he's here, um, back here, before I go, could we use this place also as like a storage facility for our own items? Or is this purely like a store where only your items can be, st well, not your items, but items I that would, you buy? I would highly recommend not putting anything in there. Good to know. Uh, yeah. So I pick up the one bullet. I was like, all right, good to know that text there, that test. And I'm like, shall we get going seeing? What else we can see? Okay. Yeah. You guys head on out from that. You hear down that hall now that you kind of leave that building. Uh, the bell kind of ringle, rings a little bit in your pocket, and then that you feel something shifts in that building, and the structure returns to its kind of grungy state. 
you hear down from that hallway something's not like something's kind of on its way but it's slow and it's not intentional you get the sense it's patrolling got it and uh, with that you guys what look head down the hallway deeper into the smoke yes i guess that's the best I, thing that we can do all right well then with that we are going to end for tonight i apologize my poor no. brain, my poor pea brain oh. is starting to shut down. Oh, but hey, good. you got to introduce a new character. Ravana is gone forever and ever and never will come back as a villain ever. That never, totally not. Also, quick question. Uh, items that were in Ravana's possession. I'm assuming we just dip, we just lose those, right? Yep, you lose them. Cool, we lost the Tome of Lesser History. Everybody just letting y'all know. Oh, uh, no. That was in Ravana's <laughs> possession. They were, they asked for it. They were the one with the history. <sighs> I think, though, that was the only thing in Ravana's, specifically Ravana's possession. I'm double checking now, though. The uh, Tome of Lesser History. No, that was cool. I That's liked... a DM's favorite item. I know. That's why I was like, hey, like, double That's check insane. in. Would Ravana have given that up? No, I don't know. I know that the. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, either. Ravana would not. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, Ravana would be like, no, this is great. This okay. is very useful to me. Why would I get rid of this? All right, well, you all rest, enjoy. It'll be a little bit from now till we get back together, but I'm going to try yep. my best to make something happen. I was going to say, yeah, you're good. Trust me. I was like, I get I, school started. It's busy, busy, busy for you. I yeah, I have been my, uh, working 12s. My mark either. <laughs> oh, yeah, what is your mark? They would have seen it. It would have been a insignia burned into my forehead. Of what and what? Uh... Arson and kind of like evil would have, would have been magic arson basically, which isn't that because you accidentally burned caused something to catch fire. I uh, caught something on fire because I, whenever I get stressed, I let out fire, and because I'm a tiefling, they associate me with pure evil. So the question is, what would that equate to? So, uh, uh, small sheet. I don't know the sheet. Oh, I was gonna sheet. Say maybe a red flame, just like it burned into my head. Oh, I mean, if right. it's, it wouldn't be burning to your head because if it's like the art thing, their, their whole thing is like it's magical, so that way there's no way yeah. to cover it. Yeah, it, it, it like it's like slightly offset off your skin. Would I like be it, able? It, like, if you wanted to also have a brand because you know you had to deal yeah, with the, the horrors of you know. Race you'd being a, a regular, tiefling, you'd have a regular brand, like mark on your arm, and then you could probably just have something, someone like literally just burn something in your forehead. That's fine. Uh, I'll probably have what would you say, like an arson would be just a flame? Arson, literally, they literally do cover arson. Now, like, arson is covered within things. Like, if I pull out the document, it, 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 I just have to find what that document is. Oh man! Well, now we know about the bell. I'm very excited about that. I might fix my little backstory because that I, I came up with something and sounded smart in my head. And then when he said it out loud, like that's all really good. Dumb. No, it's all good. Welcome to making well, characters. I was gonna say welcome to making characters. Real talk. <laughs> I, I had a good character for a while, and now I was like, oh, it's all over again. Crap. <laughs> yeah, now we don't have a home of history, which makes me so sad because I do always love when we get the role and you're like, um, um, no. I was gonna ask, would I have already have a because I've been in the Badlands for a bit? Would I have a mark or not a mark, but a? Uh, you're asking if you've been yeah. touched by the Black Bat Blacklands. Note, Bismuth has joined and has not either. Yeah, not I was yet. like, Bismuth has not also has not been touched by the Black Clans yet. That's the thing the where campaign. I'm normal. You're not. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was gonna say, real realistically, oh, no. once you guys, you know, join us in the Fugue Plane for the first time, who knows what uh, what's his name will do? What would, what would be one. a good thing for me for a gift? That's up to you. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Uh, also, uh, Daniel, okay. I don't know I if found you. It. Oh, I found it. So mm -hmm. arson would be red. So open, I'm sorry, uh, no, I'm sorry, right, it would be open hand. So you have an open hand is mm. is the symbol you have. 
And the question is, is was it aggressive, under influence, perpetual offense, significant incidents, or intentional arcane crime? Do you either have I'd a black open hand or I would say it's a green under, open hand? I would say it's green because it's under the influence because it wasn't like it was on purpose because it was due got, to stress. I, or, I, no, I, if I it's under the influence, it'd be blue. Oh. It, I, I yeah, anxiety. but the thing is... Yeah, if it was anxiety, then it'd oh. probably be blue, so it'd be a blue open hand. Practically, they scared me and poof. Thanks for the lurk. <laughs> I'm sorry, we were just actually about to end. I apologize. I'm oh, sorry. Hmm. But yeah. So I'll here's the thing: is, is if it was, they handle Ooh, unintentional yeah. crimes differently. So if it was an unintentional crime, you wouldn't have been exiled. So the thing is, they have to have interpreted interpreted this as something else. As intentional. They have to interpret it as intentional to some to some level. I mean, they could have just assumed I was malice because I'm already a tiefling. Because okay, so aggressive. Or intentional arcane, they which would then be that would be that would be black open hand. Then I'm assuming. Yeah, either black open hand or red open hand. Which one do you want? Red open hand or black open hand? I'll do black. Boy, howdy! Okay. That means that people are going to look at you and say that you're a magical crazy person. Do you want to be in a, looked at as an aggressive crazy person, like an aggressive, or thief? just a regular crazy person, arsonist, or do you want to be looked at like a, you know, mundane? Crazy, crazy just person. a just a quote unquote uh, regular crazy person. The, the first one. <laughs> okay, so you are a black black open hand. Yeah. Better than a black knife. Cool, cool. Black knife would mean you killed someone with arcane. So hey. Oh. Well, didn't I have an, uh, a knife already with uh, Ravana? No, that got yeah, added to you when you got possessed by the necromancer. Yeah. It's so yes, technically, uh, Ravana had a, uh, I think a red. Uh, fist. Yeah, because because they committed arson on. Was that the red fist? Because they committed arson on purpose. Oh yeah, it was. Uh, it was yeah, it would have been. A, it would have been a red open hand actually. Yeah, so <laughs> he went from red open hand to black open hand. He yeah, almost went to red open. Hand. Okay. All right. Well, you all have a good night. Good Peace. night. You good night. too. Woo. One second. Ah. Uh... Justin, are you watching yeah. the One Piece live action? Dude, it's so good. Uh, I haven't started yet. It's I wanna, so I, good. I invited my mom to watch it, but I haven't uh, found a good moment to ask her yet to start it. Yeah, I just finished it last night. I was honestly pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. Have you been uh, watching the anime recently? Yeah, I've seen, yeah. I watched the, uh, the oh, yeah, gear. This one. There we go. I was trying to remember. Well, then we're going to call it a night there, a little bit earlier than normal, but, you know, Dan was tired. He's currently started uh, his, uh, the school semester, the school season has started for him, so makes sense. I was curious, though, we got, uh, that was, I really like that. I'm a little upset. I wanted to know what would happen in that pit, but also I don't, I'm glad I didn't die. Um, Parnox is an idiot. I just wanted a new thing. I was curious what would happen, you know? Um... But hey, you know, it is what it is. Um, and then let's see, we got to meet the new character, the new tiefling, uh, monk that Brayden made a little bit quieter, but I'm assuming that's also because he does another party. And also, Brayden didn't really have a character sheet for a lot of it because uh, like it was an, that was a small issue, but hey, it's okay. Uh, no combat, which is nice, thankfully, because I was almost dead. Uh, and we got lore, we got lots of lore. I'm very curious about that um and yeah with all that being said i'm gonna call it a night there let's with all that being said actually let's see who no one is live tonight so i'm actually gonna think i'm gonna call it a night there it is a little bit before midnight i think it's a good time to just kind of hop off and yeah with all that being said share some food make sure some water it's your immaculate but you need energy to stay that immaculate remember and i appreciate y'all have a great night i'll see y'all next time good night